Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna find out. Oh, Instant cleanup by Brooke. Good trade by by Dubai there. Team Justin getting one, however, does get traded. Brooke does slowly find around 5 0 for me. Stop with Don Spawn. You two down on bottom. Raise solo. Does he get out Don Spawn? Gets the kill. Tech and Scrub getting two kills. Tech and Thor. Discipline. And Scrub getting the 3 k to solidify 10 0 for Brooke there right now. There's not much. Brooke though can lose. Blinded him. The flash yeah, so misdirects. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see eight. it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the fighter. Let's get him to do the deadlock wall right there. Patton will play that. Was any casting experience in the past? Uh, no. We're gonna find out. Oh, we're gonna make it. Instinct cleanup by Brooklyn. Good trade by, by Dubai there. And trade for Dubai. Two Jefferson getting one, however, does get traded. Brooklyn plays on around 5 over. Stop. You go down on bottom. Raise solo. Does he deadlock going strong? Yes, but still. I can't scrub getting two kills. And Scrub getting the 3k to solidify 10 0 for Brookdale right now. There's not much. Brookdale ooh, blinded him. The flash yeah, so misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the fire with the 2K just to take the Let's get him through the deadlock wall again. Cat and we play that. Would you cast it to the back? Uh no, we're gonna find that. This is by Good trade by Dubai there. Two Jefferson getting one, however, does get traded. Brook does slowly find around 5 0 for Dolphin. You till down on bomb. Raise solo. Does he deadlock going strong? Gets the kill. You the heck and scrub getting two kills. Heck of the door. Nickel punch. And scrub getting the 3k to solidify 10 0 for Brook there right now. There's not much. Brook though. Ooh. Blinded him. The flash yeah, so misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kisses. <laughs> Good trade by Fly by there. I see you definitely playing. Definitely. Get nine and six in the angle there. Look how high you with the two guys just to take the round right there. Does get hit through the deadlock wall again. Pat and we play that. Any casting experience with that? Find out. Instinct cleanup by Brooklyn. Good trade by the fire. Two Jefferson getting one, however, does get trade. Brooklyn plays around 5 0. Dolphin cross bottom. You till down on bottom. Raise solo. Does he deadlock going strong? Gets the kill. He's the heck and scrub getting two kills. Heck with door. Mitchell punch. And scrub getting the 3k to solidify 10 0 for Brookdale right now. It's not much. Brookdale. Ooh. Blinded him. The flash yeah, so the misdirect. Fuse gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see eight. it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see oh, the yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs. No kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the fire. That's it. Deck is nice. One fight. Scrub with the 2K just to finish the round right there. Beautiful. Very shortly. They got that one round. Gecko did throw down some detail there. Gecko on site. Gecko, one man again.
does get him through the deadlock wall right there. Patton will play that. Any casting experience with that? Instant kill by Brooklyn. This play by the fire. Steve Jackson getting one, however, does get traded. Brooklyn's first time around. Five over. He's off. You two down on bomb. Raise solo. Does he get like going long? Gets the kill. He's the heck and scrub gang two kills instantly. Heck of the door. And scrub gang the 3k to certify 10 0 for Brookdale right now. It's not much. Brookdale, ooh, blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see 8. It. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the player. I have seen Jeff Hayes play here. Jeff Hayes is there. Jeff Hayes is dying. He can handle it. One time I played with Scrub with the PK. He's just a game around right there. Beautiful. Jeff Hayes is going to throw that. Jeff Hayes is going to throw that. Does get him through the deadlock wall right there. Patton will play that. Any casting experience in the past? Instinct Kingdom by Brooklyn. Good trade by, by Dubai there. Steve Jackson getting one, however, does get traded. Brooklyn first time around. 5 over. He's off the top one. You two down and I'm bombed. Great. Solo. Does he get like going strong? Gets the kill. He's in the heck and scrub gang. Two kills. Heck of the door. This will play. And scrub gang the 3k to 10 over Brooklyn right now. There's not much. Brooklyn. Boom. Blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs. No kisses. Instant cleanup by Brooklyn. Good trade by, by Dubai there. Two Jefferson getting one, however, does get traded. Brooklyn slowly finding around. 5 over. Dolphin cost one. You two down, Alan Bomb. Raise solo. Does he get like going strong? Yes, the kill. Heck and scrub game. Two kills. Heck and score. And scrub game is 3k to certify 10 0 for Brooklyn right now. Not much. Brooklyn. Blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs. No kisses. <laughs> Good trade by, by Dubai there. I'm sure you Jeff to play here. One enemy Jeff remaining. Jeff is not even peeking the angle there. One time I fight Scrub with the 2K. Just to finish the round right there. Gekko did throw down some details. Gekko on set. You know, one minute later. He does get hit through the deadlock wall right there. Patton will play that. Any casting experience in the past? Uh, no. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. Interesting cleanup by Brooklyn. Good trade by, by Dubai there. Two of are getting one. However, does get traded. Brooklyn slowly finds around. 5-0 for Dolphin. 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 Utah down and bomb. Raise solo. Does he get like going strong? Gets the kill. He's using heck and scrub gang two kills. It's heck of the door. This will come And scrub gang the 3k to solidify 10 0 for Brookdale right now. It's not much. Brookdale. Ooh. Blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. GG. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs. No kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the fire. Play here. One enemy Jeff remaining. Jet, he's not even peeking the angle there. One time fight, scrub with the 2K just to change the round right there. Beautiful. Very short. Jeff 
to the throw down so you said that. Oh, I'm touching it. So let's get him through the deadlock wall right there. Hack it. Hold on. Let's just tap it. Let's just tap it. Let's find out. Let's just tap it. Good trade by the guy in there. Two just been getting one, however, does get traded. Brooke does work around. Five over. You two down on bottom. Raise solo. Does he get out going strong? Gets the kill. Heck and Scrub getting two trades. Heckle and Thor. Mitchell playing. And Scrub getting the 3k to solidify the 10-0 for Brookdale right now. There's not much Brookdale can lose. Blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. G -G. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the flyer. Definitely the angle there. Look how high scrub with the two caddy jump the camera around right there. Beautiful there. Let's get him through the deadlock wall right there. Any play back. Any casting experience in the past? Uh, no. We're gonna we're gonna find out. He remains. Instinct cleaned up by Brooks. Good trade by by Sly there. Two guys are getting one. However, does get traded. Brooks just slowly finds around five over. You two down on bomb. Raise solo. Does he deadlock going strong? Gets the kill. Heck and Scrub getting two kills. Heck and Thor. And Scrub getting the three K to solidify the 0 for Brookdale right now. There's not much Brookdale food. Blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. G -G. Well played. 13 Love to see eight. it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, stage yeah. now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs. No kisses. Misdirect. Gets it. Amazing. G -G. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see oh, the yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs. No kisses. <laughs> Good trade by the fly there. I'm sure you definitely can play here. One enemy definitely remaining. Uh, deck. Nice. I'm trying to with the two guys. Let's get him through the deadlock wall right there. Pat and play that. Is any casting experience in the past? We're gonna find out. Instinct clean up by Brooks. Good trade by the fire. Two guys are getting one, however, does get traded. Brooks is looking around. Five over. You two down on bottom. Raise solo. Does he deadlock going strong? Gets the kill. Either. Heck and Scrub getting two kills instantly. Heck and Thor. And Scrub getting the 3k to solidify 10 0 for Brookdale right now. There's not much. Brookdale can lose. Blinded him. The flash yes, misdirect. The gets it. Amazing. G -G. Well played. 13 Love to see it. The screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kisses. <laughs> the screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps, you can see oh, the yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. 
hugs, no kisses. That's it. Amazing. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lincroft, New Jersey. We are here at Brookdale Community College preparing for a night of grand finals for our Valorant team. Tonight, we will be seeing Brookdale playing in a best of five series against College of DuPage. I am joined by TJ tonight on the desk. TJ, how are you feeling tonight? So excited, so pumped. I just watched a replay of last series, and we're so ready. We've been practicing. We're ready to go. I'm excited to see what we're doing tonight. Uh, this is our third Valorant match on stream. However, this is our first stream on the official Brookdale Esports. Welcome, everyone, to the official Brookdale Esports account. Once again, great night. Grand Finals Valorant here. Lively atmosphere here in the Brookdale Esports arena. We have many people on the computers. All three consoles being used, and I see a crowd forming as well for this Grand Finals match. TJ, what do you think going into this match right now? I'm excited to uh, see how it goes. Obviously, I expect a win. Um, we've been looking dominant all season so far. You know, there's always the chance of an underdog story, but, you know, I'm pretty confident in us. I, I agree, I agree. Seeing the Brookdale matches, I feel like there's not much we can uh, improve on, despite some maybe defensive mistakes uh, last match. That's about it. Yeah, just Slightly. a little bit. But, you know, from all the all the things we've seen, their their protocols are great. Their setups look fantastic. The executes are just well-drilled. Like, I'm really expecting a, another great performance from the squad. And this time we've got the full squad. Last time we had a sub. We were weakened, and, you know, now we got the full squad going. This is exactly what we need. We're going. That is true, but credit where it is credit. Credit is due. Yeah, Mytho did, did a great job I last did interview time. Mytho. He was a great guy to talk to. Great performance by him last match as well. But yet, once again, we do have Nico back in the roster. So our full lineup is back of Scrub, Tech, Fate, Dubai, and Nico. Once again, we are loading into the match shortly against College of DuPage in a best of five series in the grand finals of the NJC AAE Open Series playoffs. Not much, uh, not much I'm thinking about other than this match. I'm very excited tonight. Yeah, best of five is going to be interesting, though. We could be commentating five maps. So far, it's only been two because everything's been a 2-0. But, you know, let's say it's a close series. We're going back and forth. Maybe a couple maps going to overtime. This could be a long stream. For Brookdale's sake, I hope we have three matches. For the viewer and my sake, I hope we have an enjoyable five matches, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, the going five will be a, a very fun watch for everyone. It's going to be a great time. I'm so excited. I hope to keep the energy pumping in here. I hope I can provide all the analysis, and I'm – you're doing great. I'll man. be there for play-by-play. -play. Don't worry. Yeah, you have the knowledge. I'm excited to see what we have for this match. Once again, College of DuPage is our opponent in the grand finals of the NJC AAE Open Series playoffs. Once again, we're loading into the match shortly. I think we just saw some players warming up as well. On the stage, we have all of our players as well as AGM far side on the left of the stage coaching our players. TJ, how are you feeling tonight during the day? How are you feeling for the day? Good day so far? Oh, yeah, definitely. Great day. Uh, you know, just running around. Playing some ping pong, you know, okay. walking around. Yeah, have, I had a great lunch. I had um burger with bacon. That sounds d glorious. It was so good. We always end up with food talk on these streams. But I know. Last time was donuts. Now okay. we got uh, bacon. Last week I had fudge. I had some okay. Someone gave me homemade fudge. You ever heard of that? I, I haven't had homemade. I've had, like, store fudge. Well, but yeah, this guy is, like, professional chef. He went to culinary school. That sounds great. Fantastic. That sounds it was great. the best I've ever had. That does sound glorious. We had so yeah, we had donuts last week. Musa was talking about Middle Eastern food uh, last or the first Valorant match on stream. I remember that. Got to bring the food talk to the mainstream, of course. Seems to be a common theme. It really is. I it really is. I guess those college students are always hungry, so oh yeah, can't complain. Who doesn't like food? Exactly. We all need food. That is very true. Yeah, <laughs> that is what we need to survive: food and water. So make sure everyone out there is perfectly fed, well hydrated to enjoy this best of five series. What's your favorite drink? Oh, favorite! I had to go with the classic water. Me too. Yeah, water has been on the uh, come up for me. Like I, I used to be a big soda drinker, but I cut that out. Now yeah. I drink straight water. It's sweet. It's tasty, but like you can't drink it for long periods of time. The yeah. sugar, you know. The health negatives are just not worth it. Yeah, I agree. Water is <laughs> king. <laughs> water is peak, if we, if you will. Yeah. So once again, players are loading in. Um. I see our subs from our Valorant playing on these Brookdale computers to keep them staying warm just in case they're needed for this Grand Finals. Yeah. People always playing Fortnite. Always want to have it ready. Good vibe tonight. Lego Fortnite came out today. I hope people are enjoying that. But that's not what we care about right now. We're here for Grand Finals Valorant here at Brookdale Community College. Yeah. Who knows what Lego Fortnite is? 
Yeah, it's a g- good question. I heard some cheers on the stage. I believe we are loading in now. Perfect intermission slide here. And we are loading in. We got the team picking their agents. Here we have Nico on Viper, Scrub on KO, Dubai on Reyna, Fate on Harbor, and Tech on Raze. This is the most interesting ascent comp I have ever seen. Tech on Raze is uh, it's not unseen. We've seen Tech on Raze almost every time we've watched them so far. Fate, I believe, saw on Harbor last time I, I watched them personally. Yeah, very interesting. I'm excited to see how this is going to work out. What I'm really looking at here is uh, Harbor Viper, right? Those agents in the pro meta, they're famous for playing together. You know, you, you switch off. You have the Harbor Smokes come in. As soon as they fade, you have the Viper Smokes, and they recharge. So it's it's nice to keep that default Viper set up, you know, going. But you don't need it. You always have the, the Harbor Wall to alternate off of, and it's a, it's a great way to play off of each other. And the fact that you have double smokes means you have so much map control. Typically, though, it's seen with a Sky, not a KO. Mm. So I'm interested to see if we have any sort of setups, lineups, and how we're going to be able to play off of that. Because generally, you know, Sky is a, is a much uh, more on-the-fly agent. You can mm. chuck a flash through the wall, detonate it, boom. You know, now you have an explosion yeah. out onto site. KO is more lineup and prep heavy. You need lineups to chuck onto site. You need the, mm. the left clicks and the, you know, all that stuff is lineup-based. His molly, his knife, everything. Maybe we've had some players playing CS in the meantime. Right. Keeping up with those flashes. Got to keep the, the the CS flashes going. Yeah, once again, very interesting from Brookdale. I am expecting, you know, our patented aggressive offense. And our defense lately has also been aggressive, which has been very interesting to me lately. And that's exactly what I see from this comp. There's no Killjoy, right? Killjoy, you see, is a staple of Ascent. Every single borderline, every single team uses Killjoy, if not a Cypher. That's a, you know, great Sentinels. But we're going to have Viper be- being our only pseudo-Sentinel, right? We've got double duelers, double controller, one initiator. we got no Sentinel to lock down site. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, Viper can lock down that role. And I think we're going to be playing off of our aggressive playstyle great this way. Yeah, so here we have 23 seconds loading into the first match of the NJC AAE Open Series Grand Finals here. Brookdale Community College versus College of DuPage here. 15 seconds of the first round of the first game. Ladies and gentlemen, a great match I'm expecting tonight. Great series, hopefully. Nico showing off that beautiful, beautiful Christmas-themed knife, of course. Looks like the Viper is opting to set up on A. We got, so we got Dubai peaking early here on mid. Nice aggressive setup. Haven't seen anything so far. Little Silva Dart in A main. Smoke's coming down. You hear tons of action coming in. They're out on site. We're opting to play retake. Great call. We do have Scrub here, sitting in tree, watching door, breaking door instantly as soon as it goes down. Hard push by Dupage onto A right now. Three Look players in heaven. Look at these rotates. We've got five players already near the site, and Bomb just went down. This is fantastic. Scrub once again baiting that door. Fate coming to help him. Time should not be an issue here. We're doing great. Keeping up the space. Good trade right there by Brookdale. Double kill by Brookdale to get the advantage here. Three versus three in the first round. Site's clear. Everyone else is playing off site. 3v3. We have Jet in hell. Picks off one. Gets a trade. Astro picking up another kill. 1v2. Dubai here. Left alone. Final. Excuse me. Fate left alone. Final. He knows one's tree. He's trying to isolate a main, but they both swing together. Trying to bait out the defuse there. Bait out the defense to peek it. Once again, just seeing that aggressive retake right there by Brookdale in the first round. Second round coming in. Since we lose the pistol, we're going to have to save. It's expected that other enemy team is going to force up by Spectres and Bulldogs. Let's see if we can cook up anything interesting. But typically, this is a sort of bonus round where they're basically guaranteed to win. I believe it's all Scrub getting ready for that KO knife down mid. Might have three peaking mid from Market right now. We do. We have three pushing mid from Market. Gets Jet with the KO knife. Look Nico at the Viper. pushing up Cat. Yeah, Nico pushing up Cat right now. Viper Harbor combo as well. The walls covering both sides. Nico with the shots. That's very unfortunate. Look at this battle. Double kill by Brooklyn now. 3v3 now. We do have Spike outside B main. KO flash coming out. We've got guns. Picked by Dubai while flashed. Time to turn. Heck, last left right here. 2v1. Does get picked off though, however. College of DuPage up two rounds to none by to, for Brookdale. Fantastic save round. We got three of them. That'll put them on the lower foot this round. We're going to have plenty of money to buy rifles and full shield. Look at this. They're going to have two Spectres. Yep. 
they could squeeze together a nice little, you know, half buy, m maybe a couple more guns, but, you know, not going to be anywhere near the amount of money we have right now. Rub sitting in tree with that champion's karambit. Ready to peek cat. Setup remains unchanged. I like it. But you see Scrub and Nico on A once more. Dubai peeking mid as normal. Has that Ion Vandal. Picks off one. Good pick by Dubai. Two hit by the KO knife. Heavy mid aggression. You hear bomb drop down bottom mid. Everyone's holding their lines. Dubai spraying through that harbor wall. We do see him spray through smokes and walls a lot. Nico and Scrub holding that tree hard. Sees one. Sees a second as well. Raise a second. Don't know if you got any taps off on him. The way Scrub and Nico play in, playing together is fantastic. One of them tanked the flash so that they couldn't sneak in ahead of it. And then Scrub came in and held his back after the flash detonated. Nico throwing up that wall. I, heard hear, I believe you heard one coming out. Hey. Bait and tech here playing slow on B. I went from Dupage now. Her I like this reset. Brookdale does have the main advantage here. However, KO is low for us. Door going down on B. Silence right now, but Dupage once more. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Dubai makes Dubai. contact in mid market. Taking space to fill in the gaps. Double Picture pick there by Dupage. Jet smoke going down. Scrub is Scrub holding pressure. it. Scrub flashing. Peek the flash. She's two. Get, fails to get a kill. 2v2 right now. Fate picking up the kill. 2v1. I believe Fate is also watching for the other on B site. Faking the plant. Doesn't have time. Nice rounds. Good round by Brookdale. Playing slow. Playing that defense right there. Almost a war, war zone at the end there. Silence into just straight kills. Dubai topping the leaderboard right now. Four kills and three deaths. Economy favoring College of DuPage right now. We'll see if we can try and get this little uh, save round going, but it's going to be tough. It's going to require some unique ideas, some creativity. We can see Dupai is in A main, away from his typical spot in top mid. We'll see what happens here. But Using the Viper how wall. Quick. We have seen him wine a lot with an AWP, and now with a Vandal. Nico sitting heaven, holding that A entrance. Scrub once again outside window, holding tree. I believe Tech did make contact down mid, seeing the jet on Dupage. Fate holding B main. Harbor wall is up, blocking off mid and cat as well. Dubai seeing two, gets sprayed in wine. Dupage might be hard pushing A here. Expecting an A split. Two from A main, three from mid. Astro wall going down. Maybe solidifying that push by Dubaj. Brookdale all playing defensive behind that wall, staying in heaven. He's the jet. Flash out, Ray boosting out. Gets the pick, double kill by Brookdale, triple kill. However, jet picking up three from Dupage right now. Fate with the pick off, 1v1 now. Tries to play ring on the Rosie. Doesn't know where Kelly J is right now. 30 seconds left. It's a war for spike. info. Let's have spike control. Sing hell. Season coming out tree. Good pick by Fate there. Securing the round for Brookdale. Spray lines up. He catches the last kill. Fantastic. Brookdale equalizing the score now. 2-2. First game in the NJC AAE Open Series Grand Finals here. Going into this fifth round here. Brookdale full rifles. Statistically, that round should have been in their hands. We stole that from them hard, and we did a great job. That flood retake was fantastic. We kept the trades going. We had some hero plays. Fate did a great job. He really made some special thing happen here. He got three kills right there. Bro, once again, KO knifing across mid. Harbor wall going up instantly by Fate. Shots off by Dupage. They do have a jet act alt activated. I once again from Dupage here. I believe we saw one out B main maybe.
so silent. You can hear the wind breezing on Ascent right now. We're heavily set up for beat me in mid. Astro start going down here. Dubai did activate that Reyna ult. Picks off one, picks off two. Peaks the third, gets the third as well. Sees the fourth outside B main. Three peaks. He's looking for a fourth. He's absolutely eagle peeking for this fourth. Gets the fourth. Can he get the ace here? He wants it. He's searching for this Astra here. <laughs> Dubai he is on a mission. Astra. Sees him inside tree. Flashes. Tries to get the knife off almost. Scrub with a cheeky smile here. They the all amount of Yuto coming cubby. down. Gets the kill with the KO and they didn't cubby. Brookdale leading 3-2 here in the first game. What a funny round. Dubai yeah. pops forward, tries to knife him, and then we chuck a raise nade, a KO molly, and a viper molly all on the same guy in the corner. That is too funny. Dubai is a true showman here. I believe we've seen four knives so far from him on stream. Absolute showman for the crowd here. Which we do have a full crowd here in front of the stage watching this match. Just shows you the level of excitement here for the grand finals. Sixth round starting now. Brookdale leading 3 2 game one. Best of five series. Gets one outside of A with a KO knife. Spraying through that Viper wall. We've got Scrub and Dubai playing together, taking advantage of the Viper wall. We got. There's Dubai the sitting in wine. We did see Dubai sing in wine with the op multiple times. Did get a few picks off on that. I don't believe the Sova drone saw him in wine. Peaks slightly. Sees the Jet. Jet pushing him above him. Jet above him right now. Gets absolutely pinched inside. They just wine. mantled the setup. Unfortunate. Scrub solo area now. Nico in tree, however. Scrub and Nico going to do their best to hold sight. They're really killing the momentum there with Viper. This decision to cut noise is interesting. They might be trying to pull rotates right now. This mic is going to show their high. game. There it is. They're Pick definitely rotating. rotating. Yep. Nico just waiting for a sound cue down mid right now. Hanging outside of A main. Tech playing backside right now on B. Shots onto A. Confident on this A push. Tech and Fate rotating. Grub is hitting hell. Nico getting picked off on Cat. It's not good. 3v5. Start working to have to be plant. Spike, spike planted B right now. It was all a fake. Three man retake right here. 5v3. Right there. Let's see how they're going to choose to explode out of sight here. Tech knitting out of smoke. Boost out of the smoke. Right into sight. Gets the KJ. Sprays the KJ off the double kill by Brookdale there. Fantastic picks. Cutting off my words. Just moving that fast. KO flash onto sight. Good pick. Double pick by Fate right there. Fails to get the triple. Holding that defuse. Gets the defuse Tech off. Good play it. by Brookdale right there. Pros don't fake. Pros do not fake. Loud applause here in the arena. Brookdale up 4 2. Game one here. Beautiful team play there. Fate getting the two. We really Tech exploited, holding that diffuse. We really exploited the fact that they were disjointed. We took out the ones on site. You know, and typically with a fake, you see that happening a lot. You know, it takes a lot of players to create that presence on the opposite side of the map. And, you know, with an empty site, it only takes like two or three players to get on. So that's all they used. They had one guy plant the bomb. They had one guy guarding him. And then, you know, we got onto site. We killed their killjoy. We killed, you know, their other guy protecting him. And it was just free diffuse from there. Instantly into round seven here. Sova drone on to B main. Fate and Tech playing B. Excuse me, Scrub. Reloading. Dubai peaking mid. Harbor wall going down. Scrub in tree. Excuse me, outside tree. Fate and Tech holding that B main. Nico just slowly peeking from heaven. Everyone's holding their line, probing for info, just trying to see, okay, where where are you at? What are you going to show me? Dubai making contact mid. down mid now with Dupage's KJ. You want to 
It's a triple all by Dupage here. Hard B push by Dupage. Picks off one, gets two. Dubai almost stuck behind this, this Astro wall here. Jumps down to Logs, gets the Phantom from Logs. 3v5 retake, we've seen it before, let's see it again. And we go back to back on the 3v5 retake. Gets two with the KO ult. B they main is going to be tough to clear here. Last player standing. Grub gets one. He is playing this out. Gets two. KJ present still in B main, I believe. Just spinning one from lane. Unlucky game. Picked off. Backside by Asova. Brookdale leading 4 3 against Kaj Dupage. Game one of the, the NJC AAE Open Series Grand Finals here. The buy this round not looking too great. You have a call here by Scrub. He is saving. Leave team save coming in here. Excuse me, until I see Tech with a judge. Unless we pull something on, out of the hat, looks like we're going to have an even score line after this round. Already very enjoyable watching this match. Hey, a knife across mid. Silver dart backside B. Excuse me, cross side B. Yeah, early pressure towards B. Nico's already rotating out of A. We're gambling that. I think that's the right decision. We really gotta take hey, that kind great. of chance. Double kill by Dupage there. It's just that AR advantage they have. We Good find pick by Nico down mid. mid. Nico does get the Vandal off that body. Last Double kill there by Dupage. It's all up to Nico in a 1v4. Winning this would mean an ace. He got the pick earlier in mid as well. Does get jump peek. He's equipped for it, but with 12 Just HP, it's there. Yeah, be a 12 miracle. HP. Unlucky triple kill by Dupage's jet there. Equalizing the score 4-4 four, four here. Brookdale College with Dupage. Aim one. Luckily, we got three ults in our, in our hand. We should be able to take the lead once again. We're on an equal buy. Back and forth here so far, first game. Looks promising for the series as a, as a viewer. I want to take a look at this uh, Viper wall in A-Main. I think it's really great because you put it up, right? And someone can sneak into wine. And that's a constant threat that they always have to worry about. No matter what, they always have to worry about wine. Because look, Nico can be sneaking into wine right now. He can be sneaking up close. He can be playing off of his, his <laughs> wall and going up towards the orb. Where you pushing Cat? KO flash through the wall. Dubai peeking first, he's nothing. That's another thing this wall does. It blocks off top mid and allows for things like this. It's a very way to creative way to play the game. Now that they've disclosed that no one's here on A, except for a lurking Astra. Violence right there with Dupage. AJ all going on B. Dupage is Astra picking up three here. AJ all finishing what a, here. What a crazy turn of events. It's true. Almost that commentator's curse right there. I know, right? We went from full map control to uh oh. <laughs> Spike planted. Gets the pick there, fate. Finally, Asher getting taken down. 2v4. Richter, do we push this or do we, should we play safe? Fate and Nico. I think they got it. They got two ults. I think whether or not it's a good idea to try this, I think they're going to go for it. Standing. Gets the trade, down. Nico. 3v1. Has a lineup in sight. Simple lineup. Orb and orb and Damn. Three peeking by Dupage there, holding that B main strong. Not much he could do there. Peeked out the three guns were aimed at his head. Dupage up here, 5 4, going to the 10th round of the game. Pretty even game so far. What are your opinions, DJ? Um. I'm seeing two Buckies in our hands, and I am really not looking forward to it. I am, I am a little scared, to say the least. Okay, it, just, third. it just turned into three. We are memeing. I, lo I love this play from Brickdale. Very enjoyable to watch. Team of showmen we have here. KO Knife does get Nico. Might be aware of his presence in wine now. Silver drone tags Dubai on site. Dubai does have the Vandal for our team. 
Maybe they see something I don't, but I do not see Bucky making anything happen here. Shutting them down. I'd be delighted for them to prove me wrong. Yeah, scrubbing Nico without silence the crowd right now with that. Right <laughs> here. Heck, seeing it's probably moving back B. Nico seeing one. Playing close with those Buckies. Nico still in line with that Bucky as well. Scrub sitting right outside door here with the Bucky. Dubai holding Amy with that Vandal. Right there. Nico getting picked off in wine. You are divided. Astro Wall going kind of down for the pod. Double kill by by Dubai there. Tries to spray the third through the smoke. Doesn't get it. Picked by Scrub with the Bucky. Dubai failing the trade. Does get him out of attack with the Bucky. 2v1 right now. I can't believe the Bucky found value. Ten seconds left. Brookdale makes magic happen. Door getting destroyed. Last one coming down from tree. Great thing in that smoke. We win by Playing time. time. Perfect. Tech trying to pick up the final kill here. Running away. Does get the kill with the classic. You love to see it. We turned a crap pie. We really... Came out on top. Three Buckies. I mean, they made it work. Can't That's magic. I never doubt Brookdale at this point. The plays we've seen from them that they pull out of the hat is crazy so far. It's honestly hysterical to see a Bucky putting in that much work and, and really closing the gap. I mean, they, they played well. They had the smokes. They they really played close angles, you know. I'm, I'm not surprised to say that they used the weapon well. 11th round here, first game, best of five series. Viper Pit getting dropped down in A main. Dubai seeing one cross mid. Bro, once again, sitting garden. Very slow play once again. Dupage does like this slow play, almost converging within the last 30 seconds most of the time. The interesting thing about their slow defaults is typically with that, you see them probing for, you know, old Shut orbs and information. And, and normally they're just so quiet, you know what I mean? It's hard to be gathering info without using utility. Over drone and dart here on B site. Astro star going down. Dubai getting one. Put put behind the other, does have ult active, fails to get the second. However, did let him KO on the other team. Good flash by Scrub, does get knocked. Double kill by Dupage there. Heck, basically solo here with Scrub on the ground. Fails to get him, good round by Dupage there. Yeah, and a very unfortunate twist of events. You know, three three of our players just dropped. Yeah, I was going to say before that Dupage... Playing very slowly, has almost bitten them multiple times, running out of time. But that round, almost to perfection there, converging instantly. Yeah. All the things that I talked about, not probing for information, not grabbing an ult orb. I mean, they, they, they did it that round. I heard an ult orb get grabbed in A main. They popped Silva Drone, you know, Silva Dart. They got that information that no one was playing B main. Our rotations were getting a little sloppy, and they took advantage, and they secured a round off of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Granted, they used an ult or two, but... So did we. Dubai getting one down mid. Able to get out unharmed. Well, harmed, but not dead. Watching this, this guy's antics is just crazy. He walks through smokes. He gets his crazy picks. Nico picking up what with the judge. Tries to get a second. Lights up Astra. KO nade out. Hits the KO. Gets one. Astra still there as well. Raise nade coming in. Scrub will finish when Nico couldn't. We will get this. Tree control looking great right here. Sorry, going down. Pushes One out. Fate picking up the Sova. Astro still in the smoke. Dubai picking up Astro as well. Good round by Brookdale there. Tied going into the second half. 6-6. Six, six. I'm feeling happy with that, you know. We are an aggressive team, and we've got 6-6 six, six on defense. This is our strong side now. We are now on attack, and this is where we thrive. 
This is true. We do have very aggressive offense here. Can't complain much about the second half coming in with the even score here. Yeah. S scoreboard at the top of the screen looks close, but if you really look at it and you think about it, we're winning. We have pulled out very many comeback rounds so far this match game. Going to get some early mid control. Four towards market, one towards top mid, maybe controlling a main. Scrub's got a knife lineup. It's going to land just about in market. On the roof, unbreakable. Flashbang. Hard push here into market. Hey, do some damage here to yeah. Dubai and Fate. This is scary. We're all bunched up. But they're pushing hard into spawn here. Bring to that harbor wall Sova back there. We were pushing heaven here. This is the kind of stuff I love to see. It's so unorthodox and it's so crazy. No one is ready for this sort of stuff. Fight going down here. 56 seconds left on the clock. Now we're playing post plant from heaven. Dubai holding garden hard. That's a typical defender retakes location. And that's ours. It's like we flipped the map. Three and three right now. Dubai lighting up two of them. Double kill by Dupaj here. I'm loving this harbor wall. He's getting behind them. Nico getting one off bomb. Takes off Look another. Fate with a double kill is there. 1v1. Picks him off. Fate with it's the 3k. So Sort of find the round there. First round of the offense win. Look at the crowd there. What a clutch. What a play, yeah. Fate was really the hero of that round. He he's he's he sniped through, he like came that. through the harbor like wall, that. you know, really using it to lurk pack. Gets like finds two and then he clutches up. Let's Those were some there. huge impact frags right there. Once again, Brick was going down early there and then just taking it right back. Expecting to see a similar thing here. Sovadar from Dupage picking up no one here. There. Scrubbing Dubai on A here. We're playing a very laid back defensive default here. We're expecting them to do something crazy, right? Typically when you see teams on a save round after they lose the pistol round, they like to do something funny. Like they walk out cat, they, they like to run down B main or A main, you know what I mean? They, they do something very aggressive on the defense side. And we're accounting for that by playing very far back, playing very slow. We've got Bulldogs inspectors, so there's no reason to really force the issue and you know give them a gun. So now we're we're grouping up, and we're, we know that our trades are going to be better than theirs. We do have three slow walking here into Cat. A split coming in, setting up for it. Eight leading the charge here from Cat with bomb. Like a good flip by Brickhead there into Tree. Cat coming first out of Tree does get picked off. Fate trading, however. Picking up the jet there, double kill by Brookdale. One man advantage here, going into A site. Spike going down here by Fate. Why is he sitting in heaven? heaven. Excuse yep. me, hell. Why once again spraying through the floor. Heyo Nate going up into heaven. Just fully alting heaven right now. He's one in garden. Fate picking up one. Yeah. KJ does get lit up by Scrub there. However, I believe there's no time left for Dupage. They're just playing exit this, at Fate this point. They don't across. want us to get away with our guns. Dubai, you saw the spam crash there on the site. Once again, just a showman he is. Loves to play the game, loves to play for the crowd. Man of a peep of the people, let's go. Truly really man of the people. I'm loving to see this uh the synergy between the harbor and the viper. As soon as the viper wall goes down, a harbor wall comes right back up. You saw them lurking up mid, right? They they split A main and catwalk. As soon as the viper wall goes down, harbor wall came out, blocked off tree, blocked off heaven, they were able to take sight. The smokes are flawless. I'm loving. 
how they're playing together. You know, a lot of these teams, even at the professional level, struggle to get this sort of synergy going, and they really have it. Double hit with that KO knife there. Harbaugh wall going up hard, pushing the A here. Rain of Flash coming out. Loving the change of pace. Tech going boosting slow on the site instantly. Spray through. Double kill through door there. I believe through the harbor wall as well. Tech just sitting right outside of hell. Double kill there by Dupage. Tech last left here. Picks up one. Fails to get another. That is so unfortunate to see two of our members get picked off through smoke. Just, you know, it that's a roll of the dice sort of thing. When you decide to spray through smoke, you don't know who's going to be spraying back, and it, it really is a roll of the dice. Whoever gets, you know, they're going to, someone's going to come out on top, right? And it's not guaranteed that it's you when you do something like spraying through smoke. You know, it's not as clean cut as a 1v1 gunfight. So it's really tough to see, you know, that sort of thing result in a round loss. And I think this sort of thing, depending on the mental status, it might make them hesitant to go for another one of these executes. But I really mm. liked it. I really liked the change of pace, you know. So I wouldn't mind seeing this again instead of another slow default, you know. Yeah. I, I'm just worried to see that they think that that's an indicator that they should not do it again. And just as I say that, it looks like they're going to go for it again because they got a save round. I'm glad they're not deterred. Yeah, understandable indicator Reloading. not to do it again, but I think there's confidence just to pick off rifles here. Dupage. Reloading. Sitting slowly right here in A main. We do I'm have happy Nico to see. here sitting. Top cat with the classic. Maybe pick off an unsuspecting player from Dupage here. They're really hoping that they make a mistake and someone, you know, steps out where they really shouldn't. Fate and Scrub holding A. Fate for turning around. Excuse me, Scrub turning around. Fate still holding A main. We have three going through spawn to B right now. I see the fake setting up. up. Yep, that lineup goes just about to the middle of sight. They're going to throw the harbor wall down. Probably a KO flash or nade or something. You know, give them a, a little indicator that, hey, we're coming A. But turns out, you know, unfortunately, there's a killjoy AJ turret there. We got three players running in B. He's got bomb! Does bring bomb up to market. Disadvantage there for, for Brookdale. It was looking so good, but then the bomb. You really hate to Sprayed see. Right there by Dupage. You really hate to see these spike retrieval missions. Just trying to pick That's up any picks we like. can right now. Unlucky right there. The spike retrieval missions, they're, they're some of the funniest rounds to watch. When when something goes wrong, like you see it a lot in these gecko games where the gecko sends it in, like when you don't have the sight control. It just feels like a, a spike retrieval game instead. It, it adds another objective to the agenda. And it's really funny. Brand new mission added to the game exactly. right there. <laughs> It's a new objective. You got to run onto site, grab the spike, turn around, go back, plant the bomb. And, you know, it just adds this level of complexity that's, you know, not fantastic. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He tried to get aggressive. I don't think he knew he had the bomb. So, you know. It's understandable. He's trying to converge there. Just, you know, showing the Brookdale aggressiveness we've seen time right. and time again. Trying to make a hero play happen. I think that was the right decision. You do pick off the KJ ult. Unfortunate with the bomb, though. Throwing that Viper smoke doesn't pop it instantly. Two pushing out A main there. Scrub does pick up one. So what I see here is that the three people in B main making a lot of noise. They grab the orb, right? That makes the A main players want to push out. Because typically, there's only one side being aggressive, right? So when you see, you know, three players in B main, you've seen the whole team the, the whole team is there. So Astra and Jet tried to double up into A main, grab the orb, take that space. And they fell right into our trap. We got one out of that. Oh, we're going to Sova Dark coming to the site. Doesn't Tech pick up any though. Double kill by Nico there. 3v1. Tech spray picking land. up the last one. Good round by Brookie. A great double kill by Nico to switch a tie of the round right there. Not much you can complain about there great with that conversion. double kill. Yeah. The, set, the attacking setups are looking so fantastic. They have such clever ideas. The way that they're playing these base setups and these defaults, they're alternating with executes. It's really fantastic. They have a game plan set up. They know what they want to do, and they just do it. You know what I mean? They're, they're reading their enemy. They're identifying the weaknesses, and they're playing exactly against them. Right there. They know they're a little too over-aggressive, yeah. and they're making these base setups based off of that. 
18th round coming in here. If you're just joining us, this is the first game of the Grand Finals here. Brookdale versus College of DuPage, best of five series. You can actively see the adaptations. Remember in the beginning of the attacking rounds, how we were stacking mid every single round? We weren't finding too much success with it. Now we're stacking the mains. Mid has become a second priority. Still important, but not as important as using these bait setups on the extremities. Yeah, which is crazy to see from both teams because naturally Ascent is known as a map where mid control is basically win or lose in this map. Exactly. But even though that's the meta, the real meta of the game is playing against your opponent. They're using their unique win weaknesses to strengthen your own game. The game of chess right here. Brickdale once again going for that default here. Three on A, two on B. Sitting right here in your mid. Scrub isn't sitting inside B main solo. I think Scrub is inserted into B main to basically sell a solo fake. Which clearly is the perfect agent right. for that. Lots right. of util that can bait that out. The knives, the flashes, the, you know, the ults. Double kill there. Double kill from both squads right there. Three men to three men. Tova picking up one, however, to gain the main advantage against Tech. What a trap setup. Fate picking up one. Sprays the door. 2v1. 10 seconds left. Not much time left for him. Just going to save the gun. 13 HP. You know, 550 credits. This is a great decision. You know, maybe play for an exit or two, but... Not looking winnable with the time on the clock and the players alive and the health and, you know game here. Timeout being called by Brookdale. I want to point out Dupage's insane A setup right there. They had a gravity well just outside of A main. As soon as they walked through the choke point, they had Ray or uh, Jet playing contact with it. The Aster was obviously there. Sova was also popping ult. All he had to do was Sova ult the gravity well because the players were stuck inside. That Sova ult you did understand? help Dupage there greatly. Exactly. Just completely changing the tie of that round right there. We had an uh, Almost confident A push there, just being shut down by that Dubai Sova. I, I believe it was Dubai literally pulled his knife out in the middle of sight to try and run out of the gravity well, but it didn't matter because the, the, the gravitational force just too strong, and then he got stuck in the Silva ult. Someone mm -hmm. died just because of that setup. It was really fun to see. It sucks that, you know, they lost are, the round. Yeah. But it was very interesting. It was some really good Valorant, you know Yeah, what just I mean? going back to what you said, just the adaptation there. Just, just knowing how we've played so far this attack, there's just playing off of our right. attack. And I'm surprised that they they maintain that setup with the fact that they spotted KO in B main. I thought that would act as some sort of misinformation because when you see a, a KO knife spotting a KO in B main, that generally identifies, hey, this is where the hit's going to come in because this is your initiator. You know, that's kind of important to the, the site hit. But I think the fact that we're such a tricky team and they're aware of that, they knew, hey, something's not right. Let's not Show abandon A site just from this one small piece of information. Switching up the pace. KO instantly here. Du Double off from Brookdale here. Pushing sight hard. Dubai does get picked off, however. Looking for that trade. Tech once again packing across sight. Just sitting outside market. Picking up KO on that knife here. Now pushing sight. Sova singing in Bowhouse with that Odin. Gets picked off. Nico getting bombed down here. Tech and the pick equalizing the main advantage. Does get picked off, however. 2v3, Viper Dubai pit. picked up as well. Nico all solo right now. Nico does have the advantage here for this round. He wants to get one, does get picked off, however. That was a nice try. Unlucky. Once again, just... Her, just a good retake by Dupage there. Just yeah, and I really appreciate the way that Nico play, tried to play that 1v3, right? He he pops out of the Viper ult, and he actually finds Killjoy trying to throw an Ano Swarm. You know, that, that should have been a free pick. But unfortunately, the Jet was just too aware. I think she was on top of green boxes. That's that's kind of where I saw the bullets coming from. And, you know, it was just perfect counterplay to such a, you know, a good ult. You know, the way he was playing it was fantastic. Typically, you know, a, a worse Viper would just sit in the ult, wait for them to come to them. But I think that element of surprise of like, hey, guess what? I'm here. He you did know. catch the KJ throwing a nave. Just unlucky exactly. with that once again, that jet just seeing him as well. Could have been a free kill. But, you know, unfortunate unlucky. circumstances. Okay, loading back in here. Round 20 here. 
almost exactly what we expected here. Just back and forth gameplay here in the grand finals. We're on a save round here, playing a very slow and all encompassing default. This is an interesting tactic. To buy solo A here. Typically with save rounds, you see teams grouping up, but, you know, seeing a sheriff on every side of the map, you know, I think we're trying to find a Bloody pick. Death. That's what's happening here. We're hoping that someone's going to, you know, get a little too antsy and peek out into one of our stinger, or, you know, sheriff setups and just give away a gun, give away a kill. And also information, you know. Just uncanny what we're seeing here. We've almost unseen from Brookdale so far what we've seen there, Valorant. But once again, just going back to adaptation here, just between these two high-level teams. Yeah, the discipline from both sides is looking great. The harbor wall up. Tech just peeking slowly with that sheriff. He just saw one. Nico now double peeking with that frenzy. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left on the clock here. Shutting them down. Hail knife onto A. We're selling a fake on B. Tech is already on B. site. Coming Nico over here with bomb. Out. They do have two on B. I believe three on B as well. However, Jet on A gets the double. Shuts down that push from, a from Brookdale. Heck, yeah, picks up one with the left. sheriff. Gets two, gets three. Able to find the picks, but unfortunately, nothing else is going to be found here. Gets four. Jet, however, probably scouting just to keep the round. Good play at the end of the pickup rifles. Does get picked off, however, Dubai, through the wall. Oh, one rifle out of that round, at least. Yeah. College with DuPage here leading 11-9 against Brookdale Community College. Game one of the grand finals. Best of five series. I think one of the uh, the, the issues with the way we're playing this comp is Nico's a little bit, uh, I feel like he's uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Generally, you know Nico for his aggressive lurks. He goes and he takes space and he finds picks all over the map. I haven't seen a lot of that. He's been a, you know, a great team player. He's been finding his kills. But, you know, some of that value that you find with the Lurk, you know, and on the other maps such as Haven where he plays that Killjoy and Lurks up B, B main every single time, Grass, and finds those picks, it's, you know, it's great to watch, but I'm not seeing it here on this map with this agent. You kill out A main. Two pushing tree here. Nico Singh solo mid. Just pushing as on the I site, picked off by Jet. Gets the trade on Jet. However, two game picked off as well. Nico picked off mid. Player standing. The flash and brutality through that flash here. Tech left solo. Rotates in the tree, fails to get the pick. It's the caster curse. He just tried to do it and then. <laughs> Second time him. we've seen the caster curse so far this game. Sorry, Nico. <laughs> Match point. Match point here for College DuPage. Fortunately for us, we've got Razel. Right? We're one away from Harbor Ult, so whether we hit A or B, you know, we're going to have two ults at our disposable should we decide to use them. But they have four. Right there. I would be shocked to see them not close this round out. You know, this is unfortunate it is this to say, you know. We have said that a few times game, though, however. So we could see Brookdale pull off some magic once more. Oh, yeah. Hail flash through the, the Viper wall. Divine Fate pushing up hard here in market. Hail flash once more towards B. Harbor wall going up. KJ all on site. Hey all two ults used here by Dupage. Good trade there. Picks up two. Picks up a third for Brookdale. Brookdale one man advantage. Spike down. Go alone on site right now. We're in Picks a great spike. position right now to win the round. Go planting. Dubai sitting market. We're staying on the side stairs here. Does he jet B main picked off when he turned around? Unlucky timing there. Dubai picking off KO here in spawn. Jet was last in main pushing spawn here. Gets the pick on Dubai. 1v1 for the game. Deeker to boathouse here. Jet popping ult. Trying to hear for what side. Gets the pick. Good pick by Nico there to keep Brookdale in the game. Great pop off by the crowd there, keeping Brookdale in the game. What a hero.
Great play by Nico there, keeping Brookdale in the game. Brookdale now down two rounds. Dupaj still at a match point here in game one. Yeah, along with his, you know, obviously winning the clutch, which is huge. Obviously, it keeps us in the game. But he found so much value. He planted the spike. He was with his team. He found the lurk picks. Like, it was, you know, a great round overall from Nico. Back into the match here. Brookdale once again back against the wall, fighting to stay in this game. Still have that harbor hold at a disposable. They burned Jet and Killjoy all last round. Brace through that wall down mid. Three pushing Markin now. Harbor all going down here. B split coming in. Tech is getting picked off here. Tech is looking explosive on these entries. They're playing totally off site though. They're playing full retake. With that Astro no and the Sova ult, I'm, I'm really nervous. Sova ult coming in here, gets the pick on Fate. Fate does dodge a second. Third coming in here. Thankfully, just damage. Richter getting spiked down now. Scrub picking up one. Gets a second as well. Does get picked off, however. Scrub finding those kills, it's fantastic. What a miracle. Like, that makes this round possible. 2v3. Do have Nico here. Full health, Fate, half health. Gets one in logs. What a pick. The smoke Bowl. duo. The synergy. He's one push out. Good pick by Fate there again. Nico picking up there as well. What a round. Keep us in the game. 11 12. One Oop. away from overtime. Exactly what we were expecting here. Just in entertainment here. Crowd popping off every Brookdale win here. I'll tell you, if every map is going to be this close, we're in for one. Fun series, man. I am excited for this tonight. Got KO coming in. Ten KO seconds ult. here. Brookdale fighting to push overtime here. Two away from Viper's, Viper's ult. With an orb and a bomb plant, which, you know, he often does. We might see a Viper's pit to secure the round. Once again, usual play from Brookdale. Again, the Viper wall down is pushing behind the wall down mid. Now this is the most common setup you, you like to see. One three right, one. Does get picked off by the judge. Fate attempted to trade. Does get the trade there. However, it does take heavy damage. Tech picking a bomb coming down mid as well. Picks off Sova back mid. I'm so happy back that head. that judge didn't get another kill. Double kill by the. That's unfortunate. Could even keep up there. Double kill by Dupage's jet there. What a pinch, though. You know, one top mid coming through, the flank. You know, we didn't have that control anymore. And then as soon as we diverted all of our eyes, you know, we had someone stab us in the back. It's tough. It was a good setup, though. It was well played. Once again, just seeing that synergy from Dupage as well. Just a huge pinch there by Dupage. Once again, as, as TJ said, one picking off from top cat and back mid. Yeah, it was... It was a great pincer setup, and the ideas from both teams continually shocked me. Every single round, I saw a new thing. You know, like the double controllers on our, on our side, the synergy that I saw between the Viper and the Harbor. You know, one one wall going down, another one coming up. It was it was just really great to see. You know, I I was hopefully you know I was expecting that, and they definitely delivered on that front. Mm -hmm. But also the enemy team. You know that that Astra with the the gravity wells comboing with the Sova utility and the way that. All of their teammates were playing off of that, you know, global Asher utility is great. It was like having a, a Killjoy everywhere. You know what I mean? She can put it down anywhere she wants, and anyone can act as a Sentinel. Dupage's Sova, yeah, every time Dupage's Sova got that at all, it was always dangerous for Brookdale. Always posed a threat. Got off a, a hit off on that last one. Missed right. a second, however, just just that threat didn't allow us to get spiked down easily. Yeah, it was so tough. The, the way they were playing it, they were really playing time, you know, they on on attack side, their defaults were really strong. They were nice and slow. You know, they they knew that we're prone to make aggressive mistakes because we are an aggressive team. You know what I mean? They made defensive mistakes. They they let time really you know pinch them in a lot of those rounds. You know, because they're so slow and you know and defensive, passive. You know what I mean? So it's kind of just playing ag against each other. It, it's really fun to see. It's like Paper X versus DRX. You know, mm -hmm. one of the famously most aggressive teams on the planet, which is us. You know, and and seeing, you know, such a slow and methodical game from the other side, you know, mm. and we're both equal skill, you know, it's really a, a toss up of who's going to win today. You know, it, it depends on the map pool, it depends on the, the comps, you know, we pick. 
It's so close. There's like constant back and forth, that game of chess we've seen all games. Both teams adapting perfectly to each other. It's, it's beautiful to watch, to be yeah. honest. The player skill is like just about equal. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it's it's really down to the amount of innovation that we get to see. You know, the the comps, the setups, the protocols, like how well they have this stuff drilled. You know, a lot of these util setups and the way that they play off of each other, you know, the, the bait setups and the traps, like it's really great to see that this is how this game is gonna go, you know. I wouldn't enjoy it if it was a stomp one way or the other. No, yeah, I do believe that the, the, the greatest lead we saw was that 12-9 from Dupage. Right. Which Brookdale did end up fighting back two rounds to close that gap, however, unable to, to get the overtime. All right, we will be taking a short break here before the second match. See you guys when we come back. Thank you for watching.
And welcome back here, ladies and gentlemen. We are now loading into game two here of a best of five series in the NJC AAE Open Series Grand Finals. We do have Brookdale versus Kaju Dupage here, second game starting now. We are on Lotus here. Familiar sight for me. I remember uh, casting a, a map for us already. I know we're going to be taking some aggressive A control just about every round. And we do see very aggressive uh, A play from us here. You can see it already, yep. We do have Tech holding Rays here, Fate switching to Astra. We do have Scrub pulling out Sky here. Nico back to his patented KJ. And once again, Dubai on Reyna. Hard play on A here. Not unseen from Brookdale. Sky Dog going through the smoke here. He's no one. Nico getting action here on CS Solo. Brookdale hard rotating here through spawn. Three through spawn. Nico getting picked off here early. Breakdown once again has three going mountain right now just for this retake. Fate as well picked off in, in the spawn. That's an unfortunate turn of events. Dubai, good pick there. Making their presence known. Sky flash going out, picks off some. Reyna flash behind the sky as well. Ray's picking out four from Dubai. From Dubai. Takes off one, tries to get a second. Ace right there by Dupage's raise. What a start for, for Dupage. Yeah, not great start for them. Not a great start for us. Let's hope it doesn't affect the morale at all. Knowing Brickton, what we've seen so far, I doubt it will. Brickton really does keep the confidence up, even in dire situations. We did see that last time we, we saw him play. They did go down, called the time, and brought it back almost instantly. Yeah. Let's see how we were able to make a save round happen here. Here. Second round starting now. Once again, Here. just about more the same A presence. A pressure coming in. So aggro peeking C here. After start down on C. Rotating now. You mean not rotating? Pushing a spawn. No action here. Nico wants to get a solo on C. Turret off on B here. Triple kill there by Dupage. Just unlucky play for Brookdale there outside of A. It's like they baited us into that. They activated, you know, they, they, they showed the presence for Nico who was jump spotting sand and then they got detected by that turret in B and then we walked right into them. They had two players ready to spring the trap. He goes, try to make a play here. Unlucky. Brookdale just absolutely wiped out by Dupage there. Dupage up 2-0 right now, game two. Unfortunate start. You know, Jelly Welly having crazy impact. 8-0 right now on the second round, you know. G some great raise gameplay you're seeing. Already has ult. That it's round three. That is crazy. A third round ult is crazy. 8-0 here. Just he dominance. He didn't grab an orb. He just killed everyone. Run. Same A pressure. A. Looks like it's a battle now. Heck, once again, aggro boosting out, peeking early. Nico opting to take a more defensive and passive hold on the B and C site. Right dog in the spawn, sees no one. Expecting a C hit off of that. Kills a utility, gets activated and detonated. Wait, solo B right now. Slowly walking to C. Does get ulted, however, by Jelly Welly. Does activate that all instantly for the first pick. Spike planted. Spike down. Good pick by Nico there. Picking off the threat. I really want to see an adaptation from us. They um continually push Hall. After they plant the bomb. You know, it's it's always the raise. Nico, double kill here. Does get picked off, however. That's good. We smoked off Hall. Fate we picking know, up one as well. We know Kildoy's in there. Breach maybe as well. They're both Hall right both. now. Keep the Breach. Fails to get the kill. Gets one. Tries to get the other. Does not. Fate going for a save here. 
they just keeping that vandal. Good decision, but unfortunate outcome. As you were saying, just trying to adapt to that hall play right there from Dupage. Right. They they love Seasight. You know, it's they're continually they just keep hitting it over and over, you know. I've, it feels like every round they're going to NC. So it's a good idea if we put some sort of pr protocol in place, whether it be with utility or with a player adjustment, you know, making sure that the Rays can't find those picks because it's happened three rounds now. You know, there's only been three rounds. He's done it every round, right? And he's never alone. It's not like he's overheating. This is a drilled protocol with their team. This is what they like to do. Here we once again, just pushing A once more. Yeah, just as we like A, they like C. Sky all, Sky Dog, excuse me, seeing two through the smoke, are aware of the presence by Dupage. Astro Smoke going up again. Dupage, Sky Dog, seeing on B, gets one pick on B. Could be seeing a B play right here by Dupage. Might be B into B into C. Heavy footsteps heard on A. Into Sky A. Flash coming in. Two coming out. Scrub with a double kill. Triple ready. kill by Scrub. Fate picking up one as well. 1v1 here for Brookdale. Scrub A. making this possible. We got a Bucky in the hands. Nico left here with the Bucky. Does have the Vandal there in front of him. Get the kill with the but Bucky. He Nico with the it. play. Pop off there due to the Bucky play. I'm a believer. Bucky meta. Absolutely changed the meta here. I'm Brookdale. a believer. Moving forward, Bucky will be used normally here. Yeah, I think I think we should switch our full buys from full Vandal to full Bucky. That's, full Bucky. Yeah. Make a play happen by Brookdale. They have the Brookdale Buckies. I can't unsee it. <laughs> it's great to see this this push and pull. This almost like yin and yang. We are total opposites. You know, we're aggressive. They're passive. We love a they and C every round. We're total opposites, and it's like. How do these opposites clash? It's like fire and water. I gotta give credit to Nico there. I would have fallen for the bait for the Vandal. I cannot lie. We do have Dubai seeing C now with, with Nico. Guys, seeing one spawn. We also saw Spike in spawn as well. Hex once again playing aggro. Gets flashed by Beach. Falls back. Throws out that race bot. Hex one does get picked off easily, however. We do have Sky Ult if it's necessary. And Reyna. Going slowly again here. We've seen pressure on both sides of the map. Sky Dog coming through there on A. Dubai doing his best to hold the, the choke. Got Nika holding his back. I like to play here from Brookdale, just adding two to C. Sky Orbit flies there. Scrub picking off the flash to Astra. Flash is out. Sky all going down. Does get sprayed instantly by Dupage. Scrub picks up two. Scrub's ability to play off his utility. Picks off one more. Triple kill by Scrub there. Scrub just so composed so far in this game. It is. It's amazing. I think Scrub's best agent is Sky. On all the maps I've seen him, all the agents I've seen him, Sky is definitely his best. His ability to play off the flash is, is just incredible like he finds these picks like it's nothing it's like watching Sabrosa play and he's a professional player so it's great to see you know Brookdale with a player of such caliber you called it that first game with that the strange KO pick you called it right because his sky is just that good and we see, we're seeing it now just composure right in the, the advantage rounds you podcast he can just pick off kills change the shift of the round for du Brookdale Brookdale now down one round here sky's out. tech with the early kill there Scrub once more. Could see the flash come out from Scrub here. Does peek behind the flash. Sprayed through the smoke by Dupage there. Pushes back to Rubble. We have managed advantage. 4v5. Tech throwing that raise about through the smoke. Doesn't see one. Reloading. All we gotta do is keep it going. They broke the Killjoy turret on B. It's not great. That missing piece of information kind of breaks our default. That's going to pull Dubai over towards Waterfall. We do have Dubai and Fate both peeking B. Dubai just holding, waiting to see what site he needs to move to. Skyfash going out A, doesn't get anyone. 
push C. Dubai activating that rain all. We've seen plays from him so far in this game. Does get flash hour, falls back. Nico picked off, takes the hit for Dubai. Dubai peeking out with the flash, fails to get one. Spins around, gets one, picks off Jelly Welly. Spins around here. Runs out of bullets, unlucky for Tech, wants the 4K. Cleans it up. The silent 4K, I almost missed Tech's whole play right there. Dubai is coming around, failed to get the pick because of bullets, and then Tech pulling out the 4K instantly. It was a great cleanup from him. I think, tactically, Dubaj might have found the weakness, right? This killjoy turn on B is basically the information. If they can, if they can every single round make part of their default to destroy that, it's going to pull Dubai away from C and towards Waterfall, which means that he's actively not playing any site, right? It's great because he can rotate to either in a couple seconds, but it's bad because he's not helping Nico on C or helping, you know, Fade on B. It just adds that thought of randomness for Brookdale. Right. It also means that Fade has to pay attention. Look at him right now. He's looking at door towards A. If that turret was broken, he'd have to be looking at B because that's the more Here. dangerous location. There. Thankfully, I don't think Dupage realized how important this uh, killjoy turret is to our defense. Things are playing different here. Usually we've seen the last three rounds them aggro on A trying to challenge us. Just that scrub and tech play on A so far. Yeah, now we're playing full retake. I think that's a great decision. Double Look at all that. from Dupage here. It's so aware. They saw Breach ult. That's definitely why they played back. They're not giving them anything. Sky Flash coming out here. On top of that, we have Astro ult and Ray's ult. Spike planted. Sky Dog sees Ray's on site. Ray's ult coming out from tech. Misses one. Does get the spray, however. Ray's div. Nico picking one. Fate picking one as well. KJ ult still down for Dupage here. Open that door. Nico is trying to push that. Get that ult. Picks off Sky. Lockdown destroyed. Last second there for Brookdale. And we get the defuse as well. Great round from Brookdale there. Tying up the score. 3-3 three, three, game two. Great job cleaning up that round, man. That adaptation. We saw that they had breach hold. And for the first time, we didn't play aggressive. If we walked up A and we bunched up like we normally do, that breach ult could have ended the round instantly. The ability to think ahead and look at what ults are in the game right now and ad adapt based on that, back up, play retake, that flood retake was fantastic. But it wouldn't have been possible if they hadn't noticed that that breach ult was online. You mm -hmm. know, they, they had Astro ult, they had Ray's ult to retake, and it was great. And we did without. pop that raise all almost instantly, just, just activating the retake. And right. so he did miss it, does get the spray, however. It was a protocol. They knew what to do. That was probably in the pre-round plan. They they knew right away, hey, guys, if they come A, just back up. They have breach ult. We'll just play retake. We got ults. We got players, you know, man advantage. Don't give them anything for free. And that was, that was a great call. You know, I, I'm expecting DuPage to take advantage of the kills right turret, but, like, we were ahead of them. Yeah, we have heard time and time again, just fate a great IGL for Brookdale. Can I get this? Does Dupage notice the KJ turret importance this attack? I don't think they do. I think that one time that they broke it, it was total accident. They were just checking out B, and then they're like, oh, kill the turret, we'll break it. I don't <laughs> think they realize how important it is to the way we structured our defense. And if they did, there'd be no way that they'd leave it standing even a single round. They'd be breaking it on pistol round. Reach, throwing an early stun down A here. Action on C here for Dubai and Nico. Nico just sitting right outside that turret range. This is the sort of stuff I'm talking about. They defaulted sand and they broke the alarm bot. But I think it's just because they're hitting C. We just saw Jelly Way pushing on the site there. Dubai throwing the flash out. KJ Uto going down by Dupage here. Fate, Fate picking up one. Dubai getting picked off, however. Nico solo on C right now, pushing back into the hall. 4v4 retake. We have Killjoy ill. Has Scrub to join with him. Quick though, joining up here. Scrub sitting hall with a dog. Lockdown should be coming down any second. Does see one, sees two. KJ all going down here. Scrub receiving a lot of pressure in hall. Solo, remember how we talked about Ray is always aggressive towards one. hall. Lights him up here. Nico trading. Two to two here. One player detained. That's huge for Brookdale here. 
Raise all coming down from Jelly Welly. Does pick up one. Nico picks him up midair, however. Breach might still be detained, however. Does throw out Util. Doesn't Holds matter. the defuse, however. Gets the defuse. Win for Brookdale there. Sticks the bomb. Gets the round. Death doesn't even matter for Brookdale. The defuse is huge Beautiful right play. there. It's beautiful to see every round when we have so far. I just see high fives going around the crowd, just cheering. It's a beautiful atmosphere here. Second game, grand finals. Yeah, and in, in the game, the util is looking great. The calls are fantastic. We're always playing off site. No one's overheating and trying to, you know, site on site, play their pick. You know, it doesn't make any sense. They're playing as a team, and it's great to see that unit, that aggressive unit. You understand? Yeah. That's just like Paper Rex, some of these pro teams and it's great to compare a pro team to a college team you know what i mean instantly into the action here hey multiple times we've seen this back and forth i believe there's deposits just raised just pack blast packing back you two coming out c again look Good at see the a battle of, here c look at the amount of space and information that tech has pushing all the way up into their spawn scrub is right behind him trade just in case there's a lurk this guarantees that they're on C. Scrub and Tech are the danger here for Dupage. We've seen time and time again these two coming out from behind, just picking up multiple. Tech picking up one. Fantastic. As I'm speaking. Fantastic that they find that Astra before and getting detected by that Killjoy turret. Clearing mound. Fate coming through the door as well to join. This is beautiful. We've got four players crunched in a tiny. Scrub throwing out that flash. Tech black packing behind it. Double kill by Dupage, however. Fate picking up one. Fate Tech picking up another. Fails to get the third. Last player standing. And a 3k by Jelly Welly there silencing the crowd. That is a miracle. The fact oh, that Dupage can pull like that back is a miracle. They were surrounded. The most important part of any C post plant is mound. And we took it away from them. They had four players stuck on site and in bend, and it was just like an act of fate that they Jelly Willy gets three or four kills. It's in incredible that they were able to pull that back. They were completely tactically outnumbered and outpositioned and just shoot better. <laughs> and much like Scrub and Tech so far, Jelly Willy just composure. He's able to pick up multi kills, changing the round for his own team. Seeing Breach outside A once more. We've seen Breach outside A multiple times here. However, it seems he was crouch walking to spawn. Tech picking up the orb. Dubai picking up Jelly Well. He tries to get the Nico pick, trying to pick up the second. Fails to. Actually getting a double kill from Dupage here. They have to commit to this C here, knowing they picked off two on site. I've got your trail. Guy all coming they out. They might be coming back to B. That would be surprising to me because they should be aware at this point we do have Dubai and Nico constantly on C. Just a fake. Bike, planted. Bike down C here. Double sky flash there. Raise all coming out from tech here. Peaks the corner. Gets one. Blast pack here. Blast pack play we see constantly. Scrub picking up the trade there. Scrub with the double kill. Scrub coming in clutch. Sky out coming Popping out here. Old. Great info. Great kill by Fate Beautiful there. Round. Fist bumps going around. Great round by Brookdale there. We pulled a 3v4 retake out of the hat. That's crazy. It's like miracle after miracle. Every single round, exactly what I don't think is going to happen, happens. Yeah, it, it, it's like when we, we go to a disadvantage, we almost link up perfectly. We, we play off each other perfectly. It's fantastic to see from Brookdale so far. Exactly. The, the, the mental idea of being behind, it makes us work harder. And I, you're definitely right about that. That's... Yeah, seeing at the end there where uh, Scrub used the blast pack, got some damage off on that breach, and then Tech, yeah. or excuse me, flipped it around. Tech blast packing, Scrub coming around right. for that trade. Just round changing almost. It was great team play. It was round changing. That is what won the round. It was that, that team play, the coordination, Scrub finding that double kill. It was fantastic. Loading in here, 11th round. Brookdale up two rounds, 6-4, game two here. Dupage is up 1-0 in the series. Now I want to point out, this is very different from what we're used to seeing. Scrub is alone on A. Normally we have three or four stacked towards this side, but instead we're opting for a B main setup. We have Tech and Fate ah, playing this Picking up Fate one setup. as you're speaking. Beautiful call there by you. Just call out the play and Tech picking it up right there. Able to blast back out. Thankfully we have man advantage and he didn't even take a single bit of damage. This is fantastic. You love to see this kind of change in the adaptation. I believe it's an adaptation just in their C play, but also it could be also just scrub confidence. Great play so far at solo on A from him. 
fucking playing slow. Heck, based hooking up that nade, ready to throw whenever. Based on the fact that Scrub used most of his flashes, and actually the, the one flash he does have is from Recharge, I'm assuming that he's been flashing a main periodically, just for info. Bomb going down here in A, I believe. This is interesting. This is almost reminiscent of Bind when you maintain showers. Good kill by Scrub. Tries to get the turnaround. I don't think they know Fate is here. I don't believe so either. They, they don't know. Fate. Fate gets one. Cop breach with his pants down. Had no idea. Dubai game picked off. Fate picking up two. 1v1 here. Fate does have a double kill. Gets a smoke down. Taps bomb. Beautiful bait play by Fate there. Gets a triple kill for the round. Read him like a book. That is confidence boosting for Brookdale there. Brookdale now up three rounds. Fate him is, is a, ma a magician. He just pulled something crazy out of the hat. That is a beautiful round. Set up by Scrub. That, that bait set up. The guy found Scrub, right? Didn't think there couldn't possibly be two in tree. No way, right? You kill the one guy in tree, no one expects a second one. Reach, I think he had his knife out, maybe util. He was not ready to fight fate. He was able to pick up that pick for free. He swung out, got pick on jet, maybe raise. Raise, yeah. Raise. Then he wins the 1v1. Beautiful util. That smoke was great, and the way he played off of it was even better. Yeah, it was fantastic. Walking out the side. The composure, throwing that smoke down, instantly popping it, tapping bomb. It puts the pressure on the sky, and that's what's great to see. Guy was caught with her knife out, too. Go Brookdale here, three round lead. Again, we see something different. We're three stacked on C. I think we're going to opt for a hold instead of a retake. Like Dubai we did pop all see. picks off. Picks off Jelly Well. He does get the top frag with Dupage. That's huge for Brookdale right now, early round. Loving this 5v4. Dubai plays off Reyna ult so well so far this series. Scrub finds contact in A. Just jump peeking for info. Pops not the flash. I like the play there. I smoke with Astro smoke. I like the way he uses his info to continually gather util periodically. I do love too the usage of the Sky Dog is almost always doing Astro smoke for us. Scrub does get picked off here by lurking Astro. I don't know how we got through all that util. All the info we had, that's crazy. It's really unfortunate for our defense because now we got to turn around. It is indicative of the fact that they're probably going to end A, though. Yeah, so our rotates are already through. Okay. Fate and Tech on site. We've seen time and time again from Tech here making a big play at the end of the round. Who do we see a repeat Ten from Tech here? Left. Nico in Dubai rotating in. As soon as they're all together, right I'm expecting a massive explosive retake. We be tech activating it, but per usual. Be aware though. Killjoy lockdown and breach ult. Tech hacking on the site. Does get picked off. However, tech turning around picks it off. Breach ult is a guarantee here. There's hole in the defuse through the KJ. I'll gotta tank it. We do leave one off the ult. Dubai does get hit by the ult. However, only one with the grenade. Good play by Dupage there. Yeah, with Fixing the, up my words. With the ults that they had, you know, it was a nice try Switching from Brookdale, sides. but it was just too much stacked up against them. The they breach ult, the killjoy lockdown, being that it's last oh. round is guaranteed that they're going to use them. There's no chance that they're going to hold the breach ult for a round that isn't going to happen, you know? So. Thank you. It was a great try, but ultimately 7-5 half on defense. That's fantastic. We've got double duelist comp. You know, we're an aggressive team. The attack side should be even easier for us. And on a three-site map, where Fate's going to have the, a playground calling, it's going to be great. And moving forward here, we, we're used to seeing Brookdale constant offense on C, but I feel like with this, the level of Dupage's play, I think we'll see a very different offense here from Brookdale. Yeah, I think they're going to switch it up, play m way more discipline than we usually see. You know, Normally, we're just running it down. I'm going to be honest. We're, we're yeah, running we, we, at them. We get that mount kills. control right into sight. But we've been saving this for Dupage. We know... We know how to play right, we know how to play disciplined, and we're going to show it today. I want to say it's almost like Brookdale forcing Dupage to play at their level, but I got to give Dupage the credit. It's just high level play all around so far yeah. in this series. It's great to see both these teams pushing each other to play at their max potential. I, I agree with what you said. They, you know, the level of competition from these two teams, you know, they push each other in ways that 
probably no other team was able to before. You know, normally we're we're running it down, getting 13 O's, 13 O's, 13 O's, 13 1, 13 2, you know. And now the fact that this team actually has a chance in winning means that we have to play better, you know. So, you know, it's really great to see that, you know, that, that we're actually, like, pushing our limits, mm -hmm. innovating more, showing more, you know, interesting strategies, you know, more complex ways of playing the game. I really like seeing that out of this collegiate team. Yeah, no disrespect, but it's almost more lively. We see more of a yeah. tactical approach, more much more gameplay all around. That just outscaling opponents. Yeah, it's great to watch a stomp. You know, fire early pick there. Does get picked off, however. This is what we're used to seeing with Brook there here. Just early C uh, offense. No smoke off for rotation. Usually Brook there opts to go B here after. To go against that though, walking all yeah. the way to A here. With the amount of space that Nico's found and the, the lack of pressure, I definitely agree with this call to go A. Astro Star down. Nico recalling you too. Guy do dog through the door. His sight is clear. Scrub, however, is solo right now. Reactivating the door, joins the rest of the team on sight now. Worked out great sight control here. Nico unluckily picked off there. Heck and Fate playing hand in hand right now. Yeah, this aggressive CT control. Beautiful play right there, almost a one way. Fate and Tech picking up one each respectively. One enemy Scrub remaining. picking up the duel there against the other sky. 3v1 here. Let's see my side. Scrub with the double kill at the end there. Good win by Brookdale. Pistol round should seal the deal for us. That'll guarantee us the next round, basically. Hopefully. No, no, no guarantees, but you know, you know. I said guarantee. I lied. My bad. Statistically, <laughs> the advantage into the next exactly. round. Exactly. That's what I meant to say. There Thank you, you. Thank you for clearing up that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Once again. I, I believe we'll, we'll see the same Brookdale aggression we're used to seeing, especially yeah. with the rifle advantage now. There's not much different we can see from a Brookdale offense other than the C offense, maybe yeah. a rotation in the B. I, I like this the C and B default that we get with, with Nico lurking up B, uh, A. You know, it's it's our trademark, and, and it typically works, you know? Here we have one on C. Dubai solo on C, however. Heavy Nico aggression coming in. Two. Off the back of that, we're going to run it down C. We know at least two of them are still on A. That that leaves maximum one on C, but I, I'd i be willing to bet that that player is actually on B. Yeah, we did see Tech C1 across spawn. Dubai just walking down spawn here. Yeah, this space and is information, basically, you know. Makes their retake harder. Makes our post plan easier. One enemy remaining. Tech picking up a nade kill there. Dubai picking up the kill as well. Dominant round from Brookdale there. Brookdale up four rounds down. Nine rounds to five. Second game, best of five series. Anyone just joining us, this is the second game, best of five series, NJC AAE Open Series Grand Finals. College of DuPage is up one right now. Brookdale is currently leading nine to five in the second game. Yep. Just one bonus. Now... We are on anti-eco. Or last round was anti-eco. Now we're on bonus. My bad. So we have slightly worse weaponry. They have full buy. But I think it, it's close enough that we could definitely still win this round. Yeah, with the confidence we've been seeing so far and just the play overall this series, I feel like Brookdale it can almost shrug off this round with the, with the lower eco, especially still having rifles. As I say that, we see Nico with the Spectre here. Yeah, tech with the bulldog as Nico well. Nico sees two with the specter. Maybe got some taps off on one. Rotates back. Can't pick off that fight with the specter. Hits the corner. We're trying to get to. We do get bombed down rapidly on B here. Pulling them in. Cutting their vision. Kill me. Oh. Early pick there by tech. No one has fight eyes through the on smoke here. Fake game picked off. Jellyweather picking off Dubai. Jelly with the double kill there for Dupage. Nico flanking through on A-Link. Having bomb, they gotta be holding bomb here, just holding that. Nico picking off bomb there. Get some util down. Throws it down once more, tries to get on bomb. Activate to instantly, gets it on bomb, gets the kill there. Picks up two. Nico what a with clutch! Three. Four kill for Nico. Huge pop off Four here in the Brookdale Arena. The Four kills with a ghost.
He what a play by gun. Nico there. Scrubbing his chair, popping off, almost hugging Nico in the chair. What a play by Nico. That was spectacular. That that was incredible. Four kills with a ghost. I was he gonna the, say the time play. He gets the, he gets three with the ghost. Beautiful. Worst gun in the lobby, and he pulls off a miracle. That is incredible to see. He would. I thought he would play time with the KJ all and probably peek here and there. Probably pick off one. Gets a four K off that round with the ghost. He's just better. Yeah. In a in a world. Not much you can say. In a world of vandals and bulldogs, ghost reigns supreme. The light, the city of darkness. 16th round here. Dupage picking off an early sheriff kill there. Nico's got to be feeling good after that last round. Fake taking a tap of damage. Double, triple sheriff kill by Dupage Spike here. Down, what an eco round with Dupage here. I'll tell you, man. Some of these players, you put a sheriff in their hands, it's like they can't miss. From both ends, too. At all around sheriff lobby here we have. Yeah, we've seen it time again from Scrub, Dubai. Last you know. player standing. Nico shut down his sheriff as well. But however, as you were just saying, we have seen players from Scrub here. I got the They're just showing us that, done. hey, we can make some magic happen with sheriffs too, you know? Nico comes out with a ghost round. They're like, all right, maybe not ghost, but we can definitely make something happen with sheriffs. Yeah, we've seen time and time again, you can't count with Dupage. The skill level in the server is... Equal. It's a top level, yeah. It's yeah. the top level of competition yeah. here. So much fun to watch. Truly enjoyable. Huge pop-offs from the crowd. Everyone's really immersed in the game so far. 17th round starting here. I am with you. We are strong. Got Reyna ult and Kill J ult. We're really close to uh, all the other ones as well. Looking like a patented Brookdale C battlefield push right here. Just run it down. Just Five full war eight. starting here. Reyna ult pops. Dubai picking off one. Huge pick by Dubai there. More Dubai getting two. Tech picked off by Dupage. It's not a question of if Dubai will get a third kill, it's when will Dubai get a third kill. Hey, Jay, I couldn't have said that better myself. Dubai looking ready for this pick. Has the knife out. Dubai picked off there. Three v three here. Nico picking up one while stunned. Fate getting picked off. Nico picked off here. Scrub playing solo. Gets one. Gets two through the smoke. What a play by Scrub. Double headshot spray the right there spray by Scrub. Spray transfer through the smoke. That is incredible. So much game sense needed for that. Heard the bomb get tapped just to flick into the smoke. Beautiful play by Scrub there. It was just incredible. I, I was really nervous. You know, I saw Dubai. I was sure he was going to get a third kill, but he lurked up with the knife out. You know, like it was just... We see it time and time again. Borderline throw, right? It was so close. And, you know, they, they, they Dupage came back. They started to win more and more. It was a 1v2. And it was just like, you can always rely on Scrub to pull back from those impossible situations. And he just pulls it right out of the hat again. He pushed here by Brookdale again. Off seen by Dupage. Raised on Dupage, their top, kill, their top fragger here in the server, having an op. Astro gravity well by Dupage trying to slow the alt. Dubai picking up that turret. Brace through the smoke once more. That's Sky all giving all the information in the world. Sight is clear. No one's lurking here. Dupage is raised. Knew he was a threat with that alt. Gets one. Dubai stunned in the corner. Hides behind box. Goes to get picked off, however. So much chaos going on in the server right now. Triple kill by Dupage's K debut. Nico with the double kill. Good effort by Nico there. Trying to shine some light on this round. What a difficult Unlucky. round to cast. Truly. It, it just so explosive. The amount of ults that went into that, the util, it just made everything seem cloudy. I couldn't imagine being a player put in that situation. Like, what is going on, man? If I was in the crowd or at home, I would have loved that round. But here, working casting I know, wasn't right? too fun. How, how do you compensate a raise ult, a killjoy, you know, the the sky ult and the sky flash, sky dog? Like, how do you compensate all that at the same time? There's like nine kills happening. Span at of that three point, seconds. I'm just looking at the screen, just seeing what kills come up. 
There we go. Round 18 starting here. Excuse me, round 19. Three pushing A for Brickia here. Grab and Tech slowly pushing to B. Kupaj has Astro ult, Breach ult, and Killjoy ult all online right now. Dupage with the up, getting an early kill once more. We have seen Dupage using this breach ult time and time again. Effectively, Jasper from Dupage getting a double carry here with the Vandal. Spray through the smoke, that is so unfortunate. Unlucky eco round here for Brookdale. Fate here with the Sheriff. And he makes some Sheriff magic happen. Fate and Scrub, both are very capable players. 2v5, you know, it's 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 a tall task and borderline impossible, but we've seen them do some crazy stuff, so I would be surprised to see them win this, but I wouldn't be shocked. Right I'm to make a play here. I do see Scrub sitting long range with the class right while Fate's trying to play a little close here with the Sheriff. All they're doing is waiting for them to walk up on 30 us. Seconds left. They're waiting for them to make a mistake. It's a smoke down. Flash through the smoke, just making a hard push in the A here, trying to get bombed down for that eco. Teams, we do get that bomb down. Here, one jump down. Scrub rotating around. Let's get picked off. Fate solo on site right now to Sheriff. He's one get, get, just overwhelmed. Yeah, we've just seen him do some impossible stuff, but, you know, some tasks are just too difficult. That's, you know, there there's no way of winning that round. Pinch between five players with better guns than you. It's just... As a team, Brookdale has to look at the victory in that round of getting bombed down. That that was the exactly. victory for Brookdale in the round. Their lives are so just overwhelming. Now the, the eco is looking great. Everyone's going to have the guns they need. Time to see Brookdale shine here. Full, full rifle squad. Luckily, we've got Raze ult and Astro ult. Three away from Killjoy ult as well. Hex usage of that raise ult so far. It's almost been guaranteed he gets a pick off that raise ult. And Fates usage that Astra ult. Regardless of the kills, the amount of space that he creates is incredible. He takes sight with it. You know, he's never worried and, and scared to come out on site because he knows that Rocket Launcher always Taking beats Taking off Eagle. the off of Dupaj there. Dubai probably going picking up this op. Ops not to. Keeps the Vandal. Heck getting picked off. Reloading. Unlucky play there. The shots through the door. Bang that door once more. Brookdale okay, fully going through the door to be here. Gotta expect a rotation here from Dupage. Blinded. Yeah. Bomb down quickly. Sky, Sky Dog through the wall. Sees another Sky Dog. Sees KJ as well. KJ was stunned. KJ all going down. As a team, I feel like Brookdale can't eat this KJ all again. I think they stay on site, however. Pushes the KJ all. Unable to get it. No one detained, however. Double kill by Dupage there. One man That's advantage by Dupage. Great random play. He Last uses the dismiss to dodge the ult. Rub solo here. 1v2. <laughs> Unlucky. Gets seen through the wall by the KJ. As a team here for Brookdale, what do you do differently? How do you how do you close this game out? Well, it's kind of like every player in that round specifically had a different idea, right? You saw Fate trying to rush the kills oil. You saw Dubai trying to maintain his life, just, you know, popping the, the reign of dismiss to stay out of the kills oil. Mm -hmm. You saw Nico running all the way back. You saw Scrub running back and holding in a different spot. Like, everyone was on a different page there. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like we missed a, a mid-round mid post plan. Like, everyone back up and play off site. You know, I, I think that would have been the right call considering they also had breach ult as well. You know, anyone playing site also would have gotten destroyed by something like that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's kind of like everyone was kind of disjointed, doing their own thing, and no hero play came out that round. You know, generally you get saved by that sort of thing where Scrub gets three and it's just, yeah. it's monstrous. The, the magic play by Brookdale. Right. But that didn't happen this round. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can say unlucky, but also you can say, hey, we could have played together and played the trades and played the po po post plant and the time and everything. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it was just strange. We've said multiple times this stream, at least, Brookdale's their play is, is almost just like this the whole time. Like, they're, they're yeah. always playing off each other. Just unlucky there. Going back into the game here. 21st round of the game. Once again, back and forth game here. Brookdale two away from taking the victory. Could have equalized the series 1-1 one, one here. However, still down. Kills wearing raised. Both have ults on our side. We got breach ult ready on the enemy side. KJ all could be huge here for Brookdale. 
It's tough to use a Killjoy ult um, on the Lurk, though. So we'll see how they're able to find value from that. I do want to mention Tech playing solo near B right here with a Frenzy. Yeah. Curious to see how we how we be using that. Having the Raise Rocket, you don't want him dying in this round too early. You want to get that value so you can get your 12th round going. Scout destroyed. That dog does get killed instantly. It may sound deceiving, but having 12 rounds is a lot better than having 11 rounds because, you know, 12 rounds guarantees overtime. 11 rounds, they can come back and 13-11 you. So it's really important that they get to 12. That'll give them much more time to secure one more round. Once again, play is slowing down here. We've seen this time and time again in this series. Action popping off and right back to silence here. Nico finding so much space on A, he calls the, the whole rest of the team over. Rub sitting outside to see Solo right now. Probably trying to find any easy things he can. Flashing out, trying to bait a C push here. Does get some breach utility to be used. One scene A. Whole team coming back C here. Bait just rushing with that bomb to C. 25 seconds left on the clock here. Expecting to see a huge B or C present here from Brookdale. Raise all coming out by Tech. Bait trying to pick one up. Tech gets the kill with the, the ult. Good trade there by Brookdale. Tech getting the rifle. Spike as well. Breach all here. Huge breach all. Unlucky. Huge breach all there by Dupaj to win in the round. Tech picking up one more. Yeah, they can't plant the time. You know, the, the breach all just knocked him up. It's too much. You know, you can't plant unless your feet are on the ground. Dupaj's breach has been constantly using that all perfectly almost just always saving it for the right moment yeah every time he's used it it's always changed around he's never used it wasted it in this game yeah uh, he he consistently finds value whether it be with time for a team fight for retake for post plant whatever it is you know he's he's won two rounds now that you know that i can remember mm -hmm. i'm sure there's probably more as well for brook yeah, you have to get those rounds for just for the confidence and the momentum of the match Brickdale playing the site they play best here. We do have Tech sitting behind, watching behind once more. Whole team here now on mound. Do have Dubai with that Reyna all and KJ all as well. They're expecting to see a Killjoy all pop down. This one's great. It has full site co coverage. It only leaves a gap in all. that door just to peek through. I believe we saw one. Flash is going out. I expect to see Dubai pop this all. Bomb going down here. Fate getting bombed down. Flash out in the hall. Gets one. No one spawn. Dogging through the smoke. Tech probably falling behind. One found in smoke. Dubai popping that alt here. Look at this heavy All four control. players in the hall. Just for Tech with the double kill. Gets three to the smoke as well. Heck getting three to the smoke here. That should secure the round, but we'll see what happens. Here. As I say that, Killjoy finds another pick and Asha finds space and bend. Never say never against this team. Trade there by Dupage. Gets the flash. Now they can just play bomb. Activates the gravity well, hearing in the water. I believe this round secures for Brookdale here. Great round by Brookdale there. Needed this round for the confidence. That brings us to 12. Huge momentum shift for Brooklyn here, knowing you're one away from the win. Not looking great for time for us tonight. It looks like we'll be here for a while this year. Oh, series. yeah. But like I was saying earlier, the fact that we have 12 means that we're either going to win this game or they have to win in overtime. And and the fact that we have the opportunity to have overtime is great because we can't lose on an ego. You know what I mean? Overtime has equal money, equal credits. You know, get, It gives everyone equal playing field. Mm. So 12 is definitely... So much better than 11. And other than the last few rounds, I feel like this game, if we do go into overtime, I feel like Brookdale just has the advantage. The confidence we've shown, the gunplay we've shown this game. Yeah. I feel like with equal standard on the field, Brookdale does win that. I hope that with this overtime, you know, both both coaches are probably cooking something up. But I hope that we're able to outplay whatever they're thinking. You know, the, the between the, the, the prep stuff that our coach has and the great on-the-fly calling that, you know, fate has, and I'm sure there's, you know, mid-rounding going on with all the players because they're all really smart. 
you know, I, I think that we should be able to adapt, and hopefully with the momentum of last round, we should be able to get this 13-10. Yes. Let's yeah, hopefully so. we can avoid that overtime. Just shut it out right here. I believe we are going back into the game shortly. I'm excited to see where this game's going to go. We do have one round of victory. Hopefully we close out instantly. Yep. Match point here for Brookdale. This is game two, best of five series. Dupage did win the first game. I'm correct. It was 13-11 first game. Looking very much the same as our regular default. Nothing crazy switching up. Nico just playing that solo K2 once more. He does that so well. Astro Smoke going down. Slowly walks around Rubble. Huge come. presence on B right now. Dog hey. finds two in B main. Tech throwing the nade in. Tries to get some damage off. Grub picking up ult or one away from ult. Grub picking up his ult will be huge for Brookdale. Dubai solo C here, trying to get any easy picks. Nico once again sitting A. Picks off one. one Scrub getting a second. <laughs> Jelly Whale there, there too. Guy all charging towards him, gets stunned. Scrub with the pick as soon as he gets stunned there. 4v2. He's one through Link. Flash is the one through Link. There's a blast pack in. Runs to sight. Play slows down a bit here. Perfect kill by Faith. They're getting bombed down. And we know who where the last one is. This round has to be secure for Brookdale here unless Dupage really makes some magic happen. Holding sight strong. Bombed down. Victory looking imminent for Brookdale here. Crowd murmuring. Waiting for that pop off here. Silence falls over the crowd here. Perfect kill by Dubai. Facing at the game. Huge pop off by the crowd there. Second game victory for Brookdale. Best of five series. 1-1 one, one series so far. It's looking great. We're tied up in the match scores. Both teams are going to need two, two more games to win this. Peak so. enjoyment here. You can't ask for much more. Great 13-10. I am so happy what we're seeing so far. I want a good series, and we're already getting a good series two games in. It may be the bias, but I enjoyed that map much more than Ascent. I believe... The, the, the score wasn't as close, but it felt closer somehow. Yeah, I, I, it was just the push and pull. You know what I mean? It, and I think it was also, we enjoyed it because we were winning. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so, slightly, slightly. Yeah, yeah. No, not biased. Not no, biased. of course not. We're here for some even play. Oh, yes. We we definitely, but I mean, we love to see Brookdale winning. We love to see our, our boys out there, you know, cleaning up in the server at 1310, you know. Had us a little worried there towards the end where, you know, they were gaining, DuPaz was getting a little bit of momentum, but luckily we closed it out. We got our 12th round and we, we closed it out right after that overtime. Yeah, perfect. So once again, we will be going to break. Catch you guys soon. Thank you.
And welcome back after some great action so far in this NJC AAE Open Series Grand Final. We are currently watching Brookdale go into College of DuPage. Game 3 starting soon, 1-1 series right now. TG, what are your thoughts so far? I just really hope that we get another game that's just as close as the last two. The, the, the push and pull, like the back and forth, it's just so exciting. You know, not knowing who's going to win... So much more entertaining than just watching like a quick stop. Like, yeah, oh. back and forth, hype plays from both sides. Exactly, like that's what I love about it. The the level of skill is just showing, and it and you never really get to see it show this brightly mm -hmm. in the other games. Like this is really where everyone's you know trying their best and really showing everything they got. They're putting it all on the table and they're mm -hmm. just trying their absolute best. They want that title it. of national champs, and both teams are showing it strongly. It's great to see so far. It's just the level of play, the confidence, the determination. Yeah. Enjoyable all around. Crowd popping off constantly. It's I just the atmosphere here is at a new level with this grand final. Yeah, the mental of the squad is just great. Like seeing that a couple rounds lost doesn't even phase them. It's great. They they just come back right away. They you know, there there must be some really good hype man up on that stage like Let's go, boys. We got this. I'm I'm sure one of them has got that energy. Got to be the fist bumps. That once, once you get that, yeah. you know something good going on. And you don't get that in like an online sort of atmosphere. You only get that in a place like the Brookdale Esports Arena where you're of sitting course. right next to your teammates and you can, you know, the fist bumps. Of it's course. great. It's that physical interaction. But we do have where we're in the lobby. We're loading in now. Game three of this best of five series here. One-on-one -on -one series all around. Loading into the game now. Revealing area. We are on a haven here. Brookdale starting on attack here. Great map for us. Dubai is still on Enemy Reyna. Grub here on Sova. Low play so far here in the first round. Almost split across the whole map. KJ going into garage right now. We're just poking and prodding for info. We're, we're creating a little bit of space and presence as well. Looks like we've snuck all the way up into garage without making even a sound. This <laughs> split's going to come out of nowhere for the enemy team. We're lining up this arrow here. What a lineup. Heck and Nico in garage pushing out now. Gets two off the dart. Early pick on there by Fate. Great entry by Fate. Look at the shock dart kill from Scrub. That's excellent util. 4v3, bomb here. going down. Dubai, still Reyna. Why change it? It's not broke, don't fix it. Nico, double kill there in garage with the frenzy. Last one CT, 4v1. Last one lit up by Fate there. Dubai picking up the kill as well. Beautiful play there by Brookdale getting the round early. Early lead here. Great confidence for Brookdale. I want to point out one thing real quick, and that's Tech playing Omen. Almost yeah. the complete opposite from what we've seen so far. Yeah, generally we see him on raise, but... I feel like on the on these maps where Jet's better, you know, you, you generally see Fate playing Jet and Tech on Omen. That's 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 the way their role roles work. It's kind of unorthodox. You don't generally see very many uh, Omen and and Rays players. The one example I can think of is John Jamo mm -hmm. from what used to be EG. Um, he he used to do a ton of Omen and Rays at the same time, and he would have other people <laughs> fill in for the Jet. Round two starting here. Brookdale early lead. Good Eco going destroyed. into the second round. Take flight. Sova drone coming out of the garden here. Just gonna get grass. some nice grass control. Sees two on grass. KJ pushing out garage, gets picked off. Nico getting traded, however. Giving them that bulldog is not gonna be great for this round, but. A control by Brookdale, however. Bomb going down instantly. Here. Bye sitting here watching CT Talk along with Faith. In terms of uh, CT and Heaven control, this is a great setup, but the okay, fact that we yeah. don't really have much info or Standing hold ahead. power on, on the flank, not fantastic right now. Do you see one long Tekken scrub here sitting in hell? Two pushing out short, gets a double. 2-2 two, two right now, Tech getting two. Last one short. 1v1, last one short. Off the TP out, just playing defuse here. Smoke going down, waiting for those pings. Gets the tap. I love this play out of him. Beautiful play. Does he get it off? Did they half it? It's going to be close. Does get the victory there for Brookdale. Brookdale Beautiful up 2-0 here. Third game of the series. 
buying enough time for us to get the defuse, or not for them not to get the defuse. Actually, that's great. Uh, the the teleport was a great play. There's a sound cue for the jet. It's almost instinctual to push that. Right, keeps them off the bomb just long enough to win the round. Yeah, really close there time. for Dupage. Loading into this third round, I believe. So far, great play from Brickdale. Not much to complain about, other oh, yeah. than just a few loose picks. It's out of the control, however. Just comes with the way they're playing default on this map. They're spread out and they're reacting aggressively to it. As soon as Nico got picked off last round in grass, they instinctually ran so fast to A. Nico, once again, just going for that garage control. And look at this, because of their weaker buy last round and it being so close, now they have vandals on this round. Fate pushing up early. Equal. Gets one. Double kill by Jellyway. Gets picked off by Tech, however. 3-3 three, three, three. right now. Nico seeing one on C. I believe he went long. Aware of his presence, Nico. Going to grass. Fate, beautiful headshot there. Getting the man advantage back for Brookdale. All three on B site right now. Fate has that dash cooked up. Play slows down slightly here. All three still on B. Have strong control of B here on bomb. KJ on site does get traded instantly by Fate. Fate with a 3K here. How did she get there? It's like she appeared out of nowhere. Unexplainable things going on so far this series. Yup. We have round secured here. Last player standing. I stand corrected. However, Fate's confidence, gotta get this kill, doesn't. However, not enough time for the defuse. Good round by Brickta there. Still hit him 140 through the box. Once again, Brookdale just playing out the defuse. What a great start. If we go easy it's them, I'm not used to seeing this by Brickta. I'm used to seeing aggro play just winning off kills, but just drawing out the defuse here has been working flawlessly for Brookdale. Yeah, I, I like the change. Once again... Just the adaptations, just, just chess match throughout the series is beautiful to see from both teams. And it's crazy to see the the inter map adaptations. You know, generally you only see the adaptations within the map, but like we're playing off of the tendencies that they have between maps. We're still remembering the way that they play the game. Nico throwing down that turret once more to watch garage. Old team C Nico playing solo right now. Window. Bro, oh, picking up one. Trade there off fate. Get out of my way. I'm expecting an tech A flank. Tech right. Dubai picking up the KJ. Dubai or Tech already lit up. Those one CT spraying through that smoke. Nico getting picked off there. Dubai trying to get the trade there. Jet tagged up in garage. Scrub and Tech left. Jet coming out. Picked off by Scrub there. Tech big around. Gets to pick on logs. Last one garage. Good play by Scrub. Triple kill by Scrub. Beautiful play by Brookdale there. It's a great round. Took advantage of the fact that their jet outpaced the rest of her squad. She just dashed in there. She was all alone, though. You know, it took a, yeah. a whole, like, three seconds before her teammates were ready to back her up and trade. It's just so hard. One of my favorite things I've seen so far in this whole series is the multi-kills coming out of Brookdale in oh, within yeah. seconds in the end of the round. Makes for a great viewing experience, great cast experience. I get to really feel the emotion when I say that. Exactly. The, the end of the rounds are always so eventful. It's it's so lively and, and just the cheering going on every time someone gets three or four kills. It's just great. Hearing my cheering, hearing the crowd pop off up front. It, it's it's it, the atmosphere and the, the levels of emotion I'm feeling right now. It's just the immersion. It's fantastic. I'm almost speechless with how, how much fun I'm having casting right now. Yeah, there's, there's so much good vibes. Whether you're casting in the production, shout out to the production, just observing in the crowd, you know, we have a whole crowd, just people sitting in chairs watching the stage. We've got players up there playing the game. Obviously, they're having fun. Of course, yeah. This we see it time and time again, them cheering, popping off. It's an all-around team product here at Brookdale, and we're only in the third game in the best of five. It's tied right now, so we have multiple games still coming up. I'm excited to see where the rest of this series goes. Fifth yep. round loading here. Brookdale, confident 4-0 lead right now. Thank you. Team talking out here. Fate probably making a call or two. Great that we have a, a buy still. Strong advantage going to this fifth round here. Maybe an A push. Got Silva ult ready. Tech throwing on that patent double double thumbs up from the bear. Seeing him throw that up on camera. Flash coming out from Sky and Dupage early on A long. Dubai cooking up that flash. The plane drone. Silva drone into short. And don't forget about the breach stun as well. Does get sprayed off short. That does give away his position being A-Link. 
cover going out. See the jet. Good pick by the jet. Tech picking up one as well. Aware of Jet's presence on the left, all peeking him inside the smoke. Double kill by Dupage Breach. Kicks off the Jet as well. Breach back sight. Breach flash through the boxes in the middle sight. 2v3. All stuck right here. Gets one pick tech. These two playing flawlessly together. Moving out of a pinch spot together. I believe we saw one cross there on sight. Pushing the skin. Skins matter. No, that was definitely for ammo, right? Maybe. Right? 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 Yeah, possibly, probably. I hope so. My mindset is skins matter. <laughs> Slowly moving up the window here. Jumping in coordination. 30 seconds left. This Believe shows that? the team synergy. They 3 2 1 to jump out of window. It's almost uncanny how Jones well they move together. Both oh, going down here. AJ Uto on site, both of them already. Reading that them. play from Brickdale. Good play by Dupage. Can that start some momentum for Dupage? Sometimes old ways are best. We'll see. I mean, the, the eco is not looking fantastic. Looks like we might have two or three rifles if we choose to force up. You know, we might decide to save and just, you know, stack up money as much as we can because they have money to go around. You know, their their economy is looking pretty good. I think they also have a lot of ults online from what I saw. And if not online, they're pretty close. One, two, three orbs away can happen in any given rounds. So I'm expecting a, a little bit of a pull to our push that we've been giving in the score line. Just trying to see here. Do we have another sheriff round cooked up for a few players? I believe we saw Nika with a rifle. By pushing out that Spectre. Who getting picked off early on by a Spectre? Good pick by a Scrub there in Cubby. Gets a gun. Better than a classic at least. Such a scrappy round. So much back and forth, so many 1v1s, specters all around. Eco sensing his ult went off. I love this double stack flash, and Double turn on the flash. Scrub is always by Scrub. Tries to push three of us. Dubai getting the pick. Even advantage by men now. Double kill by Dupage, however. Scrub is stuck in sight right now. Throws out that Sova dart. He's one. Tries to get the spray. Lights her up. Switches the gun. Unable to get the pick. Good round by Dupage there. Wants that pick. Does get the pick, however, traded. 4-2 right now. Brookdale down two rounds. What do they do? What do they change? What, what has changed the last two rounds more, actually? I think it's more so the, the push to our pull. You understand? Like, it's just... When, when you win a bunch, you know, then they're going to come back and win a couple. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like between the eco and the ult economy, you know, we didn't have ults mm -hmm. for those last couple rounds. Now we've got Sova ult online. We're one away from Killjoy ult. You know, we have more options coming available. And I think that's where our next round is going to come from with you more and that more Sova options. Online. You were correct with that one. However, Astra and Sky all on Dupage. Eight pushing up on long. Rotation call here. The slow pokey, pokey proddy default that I'm seeing every round. Just peeking that garage again. Garage has been huge this game. It's such an important part of this map. Cover going out. We do see usually one or two of the Padres players playing in garage. Cage are getting the utility down. Taking off some damage on his detail. Scrub getting picked off with bomb. But this is. Just really? left a gap for Fate to walk all the way up to A and find Breach. Completely unaware. Fate is on site. We got Scrub running up here. I've got your trail. Dubai lurking up. alone, unfortunately. Heck, running up with Bomb here. Sky all gone down. Heck, planting Fate left. holding that CT here. Let's see how these two can play off of each other to try and clutch this round up. Heck, TPing into the hell. Fate I love this again. setup. Omen's got his paranoia ready for CT as soon as any sound is made. Fate can peek off of it. Dodging that skyline. Dodge out of the way. Peeks again heaven. Two coming out CT. It's Scrub a tall last pass. Al Tech last alive. Unlucky. Once again, just overwhelmed. It's just too much to handle so quickly. 
Even oh. kills almost around the board. Top three, only one kill about apart. Fortunately, though, we have Killjoy ult online. Omen ult is up, you know. So we've at least seen, we got that going. We've seen both sides here. KJ ult has been tr strongly effective both sides. We may opt for a save round. Let's see if we can cook up anything special and spectacular. Any sort of cannonball approach. Nico with a marshal in hand. Opts to go to Stinger. I was say, if we saw a Marshall play here, I would have been right shocked to see. Right Nothing's impossible, though. We did see a Bucky round. I love the Marshall. I can't lie. I'm not good enough for the Marshall, sadly. Heck, TPing early into short. One was seen long, I believe. That's actually my favorite hot take, is that the Marshall is the most overpowered gun in the game. Okay. Strong debate there. Jelly Welly off to Podge getting a double kill here on A. Gets a triple kill on A as well. Fate running out of ammo here, switches to the classic, gets the pick on Jelly Welly, goes for the Vandal, picks up the Vandal. Fate and Tech last alive once more. It's all this last round. Deja vu. Yeah, sing, sight, and everything. Tech, however, slowly walking through short here, just clearing short. The silence is unnerving, though. We, we have no idea where they are. The fact that they're not making any sound in CT and Heaven is just very strange. Almost the same three alive for DuPage, just breach alive this time. KJ out going down early. PT ah. here by Fate. Tech. Fate does get detained, however. Tech on B site right now. Fate just pinned in the corner. Tech has to hustle to, to A. Hot step to CT. Does get the defuse, however. Can he get any picks off? Unfortunately, that Killjoy Util is perfect. To, it really forced their hand. They couldn't do anything about it. Timeout being called here by Brookdale. We would not be going to a bridge of timeout. Maybe some time for a team talk by AGM just to bring up the confidence, switch up some tactics. Something new for Brookdale because the last three rounds we've been dominating almost. Yeah. Well, last round we talked about the Marshall. Why don't we bring that back up? I'm okay with that. So you think it's one of the most overpowered guns in the game? I do. It, it shoots so fast. It's only 950 credits. I mean, come on. It's it's a it's an op, but it shoots faster. If you can hit them in the head, it does more damage, right? It it shoots faster. It's cheaper. You can get it every single round. So you think that's Except the top eco pick in the game? Definitely. Would it, would it top pick in the game period? Mm, I wouldn't say. I would say just for the value that it offers. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's a third the price of a vandal, mm -hmm. and you can easily kill three vandal players with it. If you're in the setup in the right place, you know you got good aim, got that gun placement, skill. Yep. You know what I mean? You've played your aim labs. You could you could get a couple oh, yeah. off that. I I I love those Marshall cliffs where I'm sitting there scoped in and then I miss my shot. Of course, but, but then you switch to the hip fire and get three. In my head, I hit the headshot. You know, <laughs> in my head, I, I thought, you know. All right, here we go. Loading into round nine here. Great play by Dupage so far to equalize his score. Broke the momentum, almost killed here. But hopefully, team timeout here. Talk by AGM for the team. Bringing some confidence and light to the team. Even fight? Looks That's like a fun. C default here. Two and also garage. The, the strategy as well. We've been playing these defaults, and I think AGM is saying, hey, you know, we've been playing so slow. Let's switch it up. Let, let's let's go for a regular split. Let's just take sight. Here we go. Playing C long shortly here. Standing ahead. Dubai and Nico staying outside garage. Fate already on site on top boxes here. Heck and scrub fl falling in. Look at that call from the coach. He said, hit C. C is empty. There's not a single DuPage player playing C. Good trade there in garage. One for one. However, Jelly Welly still alive. We know that is the DuPage threat. Nico getting picked off there. Shock guard by, by scrub. Does hit one, I believe. Two in window. Unaware. They were unaware of Fate's presence. Unable to get a kill, though. Unfortunately, Trek, Tech, tech had to go for the behind here. trigger discipline, but... Tech, tech could make a play here. Gets one! one Gets two! Three. Gets three! Great play by Tech there! The Triple kill! Huge pop-off in the arena! Crowd popping off! Production popping off! Us popping off! Everyone popping off after that play! The teleport play was insane. Who would think of such a thing? The bomb is getting defused. Let me just teleport behind them. That's, I mean, it's genius, but it's so not obvious.
you call it out during that play to trigger discipline just to not f not force a kill there and wait and get all three at the end there. Once again, just that last minute multi kill from Vral Brookdale. Yeah, it, it was funny because um, Fate is Jet, right? He was in Garage. He died because he tried to trigger discipline. He mm -hmm. saw a guy, but then he got checked afterward by the second person. So it's funny how that almost lost them the round, but then it won them the round when Tech did it. One of those butterfly effects in Valorant right there. Exactly. Once again, almost same play here. Dubai and Nico holding mid. Tech, Tough. Scrub, and Fate pushing up long. Four ults online. Does Brookdale go all out this round? Play a little passive here. We are backing off C long here. Walking into spawn. Fate once again peeking C long, just making sure she no one peeking, no one following. Scrub is stuck with a classic. Cover going out. Perhaps a forgotten buy or maybe a tactical play. I think it's a tactical eco play. I think they know that if they get a pick, like they just did on. Uh, I was gonna pick. Fate with a double kill, however. Tech picking one as well. Nico picking one as well. Nico for the double. Does get the spray. 120 off Sky. Cannot heal. Can't heal yourself on Sky. <laughs> I think they should have added. No, I'm kidding. Imagine they did. Uh, a lot of people would be unhappy. Yeah. Sky is lit. 30 health left on Sky here. Three alts, alts for use if needed. However, I doubt it would be. That's Dupage here. Do you just go for the save or do you push it with 30 health? Definitely save. You got 30 HP. He's got a rifle. You know, the eco power is so much better. I wouldn't be surprised if he's out here playing exits, but even that's unlikely. I don't think he wants to take the chance. We're playing cautious just in case of that fact. Yeah. Their lights are so it's my Tech on top of the board, 12 6 here. Switching off the raise and almost out fragging his raise on Omen. Love to see that as an Omen main. Yeah. Now we got five ults online. I, I wonder if he, if there are any special Omen ult plays cooked up. You know, any, any you know, TP into heaven enjoyers? Or? From the TPs we've seen so far just off the C ability, I feel like an alt play would, would not be out of the realm of possibility at well, all for tech. I would love to see it. I want to I see a committed alt play as well. Not, not a fake. I want to see a committed alt oh, play. Oh, yeah. There you go. See, push long again. Whole team here pushing on the site early. KJ and Garage, I believe. Scrub getting that bomb down quickly. Breach all coming in. I believe he got everyone. One pick by Dupage. Tech getting one. Tech getting two. Good turnaround by Tech. Tech still in that corner. Fate pick, pick, picking up one as well. One CT, one Garage, I believe. One Here's some footsteps remaining. at the garage. Dubai picking up Jelly Welly in garage. KJ left. 4v1. Playing that time. Playing this bomb out. Brain through the smoke in garage. Trying to get that pick. However, another save here from Dupage. Brookdale forcing two saves from Dupage here. What does that do for Brookdale's confidence? Got a skyrocket at it. Up three rounds now, game two. 1-1 one, one series overall, is best this, of five. Is this the third round, round in a row that we've switch. seen Brookdale just run it down C? I believe so. Ever since that timeout, it's just been C, C, C. It looks like they're doing it again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Couldn't agree more. And with this many ults online, you can make any strategy work. Yeah, Dupage here has a strong disadvantage, only having the Astral and not really close to any other ones. Let us hunt. They are choosing A, however. Looks like we, yeah, we maybe switch it up. Choosing something else. Do we get the glorious play of all them being stacked on C? However, we did see a sky flash out mid from Dupage. While they may not be stacked on C, there is at least someone in Garage or Grass. Wait, popping that ult instantly onto site. Now we have an empty A site. We did see te tech ult. Be aware, though, we never cleared short. This is tough. Someone may be lurking. Tech and Fate in, sh in the he hell right now. Nico finding his signature lurk. You are divided. Astro wall going for the Paj. Almost plays for the two in hell. Activates the all off the stun. Gets two off on her. 
Nico picking up one. They've Movie got a three bucket. right here. They're on bomb. Yeah, they Picks up one. Two seen with a silver dart once more. Just waiting to use that shock dart. Unlucky timing for Nico there. Does get flashed through the wall. Playing that shock dart again. Tapping bomb. Spraying through the smoke. Unlucky for Brookdale. Dupage is going to pick up this round going into the half with down two. 7-5 half. Saw a repeat of that last game. I'm not worried. Neither am Switching I. Sides. After last game's performance, I feel like Brickdale is definitely happy in this position okay. once more. We know the drill. Stick your rolls and we'll crack. We see the usual defense we saw last time with Nico holding C almost solo. Have one thing B Lincoln to C. We have two on B side, two on A, and Nico once again holding solo C. You mentioned uh, Sky being able to, able to heal herself yeah. earlier. What do you think about stopping Sage from being able to heal herself? Because I feel like that would be a great change considering every single Sky I find in so or, uh, Sage I find in solo Q would rather heal herself from 99 to 100 than her teammate from 1 to 100. I don't disagree with you, but I feel like Sage fans might burn down Riot's office if they nerf her one more time. Is it a nerf though? Revealing I, th I feel it like it's a forced be. buff. It's, it's a forced teammate buff. Right. Solo nerf. It's like, stop being so selfish. You're going to get more value, we promise. Just trust us. Maybe we should change the game. Have the scoreboard show healing. <laughs> Give her some motivation. KJ turned outside A here. Two on the C early. Tech and Nico getting picked off. C's clear right now. Three man retake by Brookdale. Seen this multiple times so far. It's worked out many times for Brookdale. This Dubai is be walking a tough. slowly into garage. All three conversion in the garage now. Dubai jumping out window. Bait and scrub coming through the door now. All three walking down garage. Revealing area. Silverdark going out. All three pushing out one on logs. Gets the pick on logs. However, just once again a masker instantly. I want to point out how they timed the uh, the landing of the silver dart on that back wall exactly with the you know, time that they come out. And the reason for that is because when the silver dart lands, it draws everyone's crosshair. Think of a time when you've seen a silver dart land right next to you and not thought, oh, let me just shoot that. It's mm -hmm. right next to, why not? I'll just look up and, oh no, Jet it's just dashed in and shot me in the face. Like that's, that's what that's all about, you know what I mean? It draws their crosshairs and it gives us, you know, space to come out just like a jet dash draws across here because that's the also the reason why you, you smoke in the middle of sight and j dash into it because when you're holding a close angle and you see jet dashing onto the to site you mm -hmm. watch the smoke you you wait for her to come out and then guess what you get sky flashed or someone you know comes out and trades you it's it's part you of misdirection it's like a magic trick you would see that normally however we did see earlier dupage go against that with the, sk the jet dashing out and updrafting almost solo yeah that's a misuse of the entry roll. We have a crossfire set up here on B entrance. Nico and Tech on C. Scrub solo A right now, playing back. Scrub locked in on A right now. Crossfire still set up on B. Low push into Pasha. We've seen this time and time again. However, it has bitten. It has bitten Dupaj back. I mean, surely they have grass control or a lobby control at this point. There you go. Walking into garage now. Maybe a diversion, just breaking the turret. Like I said, you know, earlier in the Lotus game, breaking the turret can give all sorts of false information, and then they could hit the A site. But I think that's what they're doing right now. Rico preparing for this five-man retake. Here, Nico Tony hustling over from C. Dubai gets one. No. Scrub picking one with a shock dart as well. Three kills from Dupage. Two, one man advantage. Nico solo right now. Walking in the site with the classic. He's one flying to short. Knows he's against rifles. Ops to wrapped heaven. This is an interesting choice. Getting out of there is going to be nearly impossible. This is strange. Classic against Vandals going into heaven. Jumps in the box. Finn's hell. Picks up the Spectre. Gets him in short. Taps bomb. Gravity well coming out. Escapes the gravity well. Pushes short for that Vandal. Gets the Vandal and just pops the save. Great play for the Vandal save. However, unlucky for the scoreboard. Dupage now equalizing the score. 
Oh, just tapped by the bomb in shore. Unlucky. Fortunately, he can't find those exits. Is everyone's tech still working? Double check it, please. 7-7, seven, seven, all tied up. Both teams should have a nearly equal buy here. It's going to be close. Yeah, we do have equal buys here. Full shield for almost the whole team. Only one on Brookdale having half shield. Jelly Well is still the same threat we've seen all series. However, Jasper on Dupage on Astro showing out this game. We just see their breach last game showing out. Revealing area. Everyone has their own favorite maps, maps that they performed especially well on. Heck, just jump peeking that long, making sure it's clear. Scrub walking around the heaven right now. I feel like our, our default defense setup is, is really showing how confident we are in our A retake. See how we have two stacked towards C and two stacked towards B every single round and all we've got on A is Silva just playing for info. Playing retake, you know, it, it it really shows that, hey, we do not want you to come here or here, meaning B and C. Please come to A site because we would love to show you how great our retake is. We would love to kick your butt. You're almost baiting the enemy in. Heck, once again, it's jump peeking. A plant going in. Shock dart coming out from, from Scrub. Scrub still heaven. Shock dart. Secondary shot guard still has the recon on him as well. Spike planted. Retake setting up here for Brookdale. Recon dart at the ready. Nico and Scrub both in heaven. Recon dart coming out once again, pushing off that recon dart. Fate picking up one. Picks up the shade turret. Scrub picking up another one as well. One long. P Nico picking him up as well. Three men to two. Three v two. He's one side short. Gets the wall bang, Nico. Last one long. Both peeking him, Tech picking him as well, getting the defuse. Good round by Brookdale there. This is the second time we've seen Nico opt to jump out of heaven on top of the box there on Killjoy. Who would expect that? This situation Not me. a bit more suited for him, but for, for great execution by him. I believe he got double off that. I mean, it suits him well. He does it great. I can't complain. If it works, it works. You can't complain at all, especially with Brookdale leading. Can't complain. Able to take the lead, like you said, it's 8-7 now, but it's still close. Mm -hmm. It's still anyone's game. It's, you know, it really is a matter of this push and pull, and I'm excited to see who's going to be able to come out on top here. Mm -hmm. I think both teams are around an equal buy. At least we have a, a full buy going on. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many ults we have, but we're about to find no out. No you. ults on either side, Rub although Silva, Silva is out. close. Recon bolt destroyed instantly a long. Brickdale not budging, however. Dubai and Fate still holding that B. Turret destroyed in Garage. I love that silent jump. Omen Smoke coming on C. Sky Dog on A. Doesn't see anyone. It's a good job backing up here. The more pressure you receive as a solo anchor, the more you should be backing up and just playing for info for the retake. Trouble holding this tight <laughs> angle here. Kings in spawn here on C. Yeah, with them breaking the Killjoy turret and garage, you know, that it leaves it completely empty. You don't know who could be lurking in through C-Link. Flash behind Scrub, I believe. Not budging. Dubai going heaven now. Scrub, a shock dart lineup here? Shock dart. <laughs> Simple shock dart lobs into the A-site. Worked out once again, retake. Last one worked out flawlessly. Can they do it again? It seems Fight like Dupage has been aware of the fact that we play shock darts, so they've been faking the plan every time they come A. Did that last round as well. Unlucky turret placement there. Clears heaven, Fate picking one to heaven, Dubai picking one well, however getting killed as well. Fate picking up one as well. Peeking long, we know Astra plays long. KJ on site, Tech picking him up. Astra still behind in CT, picks him up Tech, good round by Brookdale. That Light applause going around the crowd here. Brings us to nine against seven. Light applause pop off here. Light pop off by both production and crowd. Need a drop. Can I get this? Thanks. Timeout on <laughs> Dupage's side. What do they change? What, what's the tactic change here for Dupage? What's best for them? Stop hitting A. Yeah? That's, yeah. That's a, great, I mean, that's a great simple change for Dupage. Obviously, we're very confident, and we deserve to be in our A retake. We have it perfectly drilled. We, we keep running, winning these A retake rounds. It's really great, and it's just how do you beat that? 
go somewhere else. Yeah. You know, I I think our, our weakest part is garage, right? As soon as you break that killjoy tr- uh, turret, you saw last round that pulled Nico away mm-hmm. to go hold C Link, and that makes the C player weaker for that, mm-hmm. right? And they're they're all alone. They're they're sitting on site. They have to worry about be worried about long and garage. Because if someone's watching C Link, they can't also be watching the hallway from garage. So I think the only real weakness in our in our play is, I guess, break the killjoy turret mm-hmm. and then wait. Maybe show a little bit of presence on A for the fake, then hit C because mm-hmm. that'll be the weakest part of the map by far. Yeah, baiting out the C defense, going right onto C, loading back in here. But obviously, the fact that I have X-ray vision means that I know everything that's going on. They have no idea all this stuff. They know bits and pieces. They know that the kill the turret goes, you know, in, in in garage. They know that two people play C. But as as I was just talking about it, they're just adding to switch off their defensive default, which is a great thing to do off of the back of a timeout because their coach could definitely be exploiting such things. Revealing area. Recon dart coming out once more. Gets destroyed into. We do have two on A now. Dubai Great. sitting long here. Tries to get one to spring the crowd. Only gets 41 scrub double kill there on A long. Heard one short, Sky Flash coming out, turns from the flash, turns around, sprays one, gets a second as well, 4k from Scrub here. Ace cooking up for Scrub here, sees him long, goes for the ace, ace from Scrub there, huge pop off there. Cheering from the crowd, um, Scrub ace here. They unleashed the animal. Everyone is popping up, we got cheers for let's go. His default protocol, just get information and back up. He gets one round of... I get to fight from my space because he had a, a trap set up with Dubai. He gets one round and he aces. He kills the entire enemy team. Why mm. does he back up at all? Just do that every round. I mean, obviously he can do it. He there's, just did it. There's a cheeky smile there on Scrub's face. Trying to be comical. Like they can't help it. It's a pop off after that play. Great ace from him. Standing recon guard go, going down again. Stun from Breach. Extra bounce on that recon dart. Dubai and Scrub playing the A once more. Dubai seeing one short. Both falling back here. Sky Flash out of A. Yeah, the retake is just great. No reason to give up anything. Dubai going heaven once more. We saw him do it two rounds ago. Scrub holding that same angle. Omen smoke on a C. A on top of the box is C long. Always scary when this happens when love action and Dupage just silences the game. I want to point out how important the killjoy utility is to the way that we play this map. We have three you stacked on C, two stacked on A, and we have a killjoy turret holding garage and an alarm bot and two nano swarms holding B. We have no players in the entire middle of the map, and it doesn't matter because that util is just so strong. No other agent can do Hard that. Hard C push here. Nico picking up one. Tech picking up the other. Fate pit turn around picking up one as well. Full team against two. Brain to the smoke. Bomb down on site as well. Like we mentioned before, now it's a spike retrieval mission, but for Dupage this time. How are they supposed to do this? Hi, Sova join here. It's looking over the smoke. We got a little bit of action on B. Killjoy alarm bot was set off, so we know that someone's trying to lurk up and be funny. Nico, bring, turn around here, just holding that link. Ultimately, there's no time. Brookdale, 11 rounds here, two from a victory. Taking a strong lead here. This, place is nice. this is huge for Brookdale if they go up 2 1 in the series. They're really hitting the gas in this game. Yeah. Almost put on the throat of Dupage the last three rounds. And what's great is that we're also building up our ults too. We only have Dubai active right now, but um, look at that. We're one away from Jet. We're two away from, I believe, the Sova. One, one away, away from, from Omen. My bad. Two away from Killjoy. One away from o- Omen. That makes more sense. Still same premises though. Just strong ult usage coming in soon. Heck, once again, jump peeking to see here. Scrub falling off A. Dubai now pushing CT. Hearing the updraft on A. Thug. Pick through the smoke, wall bang by Scrub there. Nasty shot by Scrub. Okay, you all instantly destroyed by Dubai. Dubai popping the ult in return. Enemy. I've got your train. 
Guyo coming out. He knows Sky's in the corner. PC does get flashed, however. Picked off from short by KJ. Shock Dart coming out. Recon Dart coming out of Heaven as well. We've got a pincer maneuver. Two from Long. Two from pick, Heaven. Picked by Fate. Fate does get picked off. KJ hopping out once more. Nico loves hopping out of Heaven. Scrub gets one. Scrub gets two. Last one in hell. Scrub gets the fourth as well. 4K from Scrub. What a hero. Beautiful play by Scrub. Popping off again. I'm loving this game. I'm loving the, this game. The number of hero rounds this guy has had, not only this game, not only this series, Match but point. all season long, it's incredible. He is definitely just such a standout player from this team. He, you know, you want to talk about Superstar? Scrub's name has got to no be. Further, yep. Scrub just completely fragging out of his mind this game. 12-7, match point for Brookdale. And more on that point, whether or not he's fragging, he's always providing consistent value with his util. He's always on point with the team play, with the individual play, he, you know, and, and he really makes up for when he's not performing individually great because everyone has a bad day. But Scrub is always finding value. Fate here playing the classic Jet Op partnership. Hard C presence here. Pushing out, Tech Paranoid's one. Dubai with one pick, tries to go for the no-scope. Dubai getting two. Dubai picked off now, Tech coming in, gets a headshot. Dubai spraying through smoke, gets flashed into smoke, however, jumps out. Last one on Jen. Okay, no, the last one's right side here, in the smoke. Shock dart in the smoke. Fate coming out. Good pick by Tech there, so we'll find the round. And that's game three, game. victory by, by Valorant, or Brookdale Valorant, excuse me, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> I'm 13, going crazy seven. over here. Pop off on the stage, hugs all around on stage. What a fantastic way to end that game. Beautiful it was game. So chaotic. Huge so pop messy. Up again. Crowd's getting hyped up by the team here. One victory away from serious victory here. Two games to one, best of five here against College of Dupage. So much fun though. That that round was absolute bananas between the no scope. I mean, obviously he missed the no scope, but like that was, attempt. that was criminal. That should have been a right on point. It was, you know, those no scopes generally hit that. Yeah, the attempt. Just Brookdale's plays they have, they have clip worthy plays almost every round every that game. Every round. It's, it's fantastic to watch. It's so much fun when, when you see these hero plays coming up all the time. All right, we will be going to a break once more. Thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next game shortly. Thank you.
Welcome back here to Bring Brookdale Community College in Lincroft, New Jersey. We've had a great night so far, very enjoyable on some Valorant content here. We are currently watching the NJCAAE Grand Finals here. Brookdale Community College versus College of DuPage. Currently going into game four here. Brookdale up 2-1. TJ, what do you think so far? So exciting. There's been so much energy all throughout the whole the whole series so far. Every map just keeps getting better and better. And sure, it, it may be my bias towards Brookdale because so far we've gone from losing to winning close to winning not so close. Mm -hmm. You know, let's let's hope like the next one's like a total shutout. But no, no, no. I, I want back a total back. shutout final game will be quite the way to go out. Yeah, that that would be quite the way to silence the crowd. But honestly, a little bit of back and forth it makes it for an entertaining watch. So you know, I'm all for that. Yeah, I believe I only believe I mentioned this is a best of five. So we are up two one right now, one game away from victory in the grand finals that would crown us national champs. However, we do need to get to that top. I'm excited for this final game. Or Excuse me, possible final game. Don't want right. to be too confident here. Dupage is a very viable opponent we've seen so far. They've had great play so far, great adaptation to Brookdale. I'm curious to see what map comes out next. Yeah, well, so so any, far we've seen Lotus, Ascent, and Haven. Any guesses? I don't know. Breeze? If, if I'm going to guess anything, I'm going to say Split. Wait, I was going to say, say Split, but I want to see Breeze, kind of. You want to see Breeze? I hate I that map I so much. I hate Breeze. Much. I want to see Icebox, actually. Icebox is the map that grew on me the hardest. I would like to see Icebox, but unfortunately it's not in the pool. Oh. Uh, and we, we just, just got, got word. Bind is the map. I'm very excited for that. I love I, Bind. I do love me some Bind. Bind is a great map here. I'm excited to see Bathroom Control. I want to see the comps. I really want to see... Because Bind is one of those maps where there's a lot of room to be creative in the meta. You know, there's plenty of agents that can go around. There's plenty of different ways to play the map. The configurations are always different. You know, the, the tools that each team has, it makes the game's more unpredictable, you know, as opposed to a map that has a more stale meta, such as Ascent. Yeah. Although, we completely threw that out Ascent, the window. Yeah, with Ascent the, was the, a fun the map Harbor to watch. The Harbor Viper, you know, that, that was incredible, but... If you're just joining us now, we are, as I said, up 2-1 right now, best of five series, but after the stream, however the, the, the end may be, you have to go back and watch those first two maps. Those two maps were fantastic, especially the last map, the third map. There's constant action back and forth, constant pop-offs from the crowd. It's been fantastic to watch so far. I'm excited for game four here. I'm expecting nothing less than what we saw last game. So we were talking about how Scrub is just standout this series, right? He's having an incredible performance. Do you think he'll be able to keep it up for the fourth and possibly fifth map? Because, you know, sometimes players can lose steam after this much, like, effort. I understand that, but I feel like Going into this match, Scrub has to keep that momentum. Just the confidence, the pop-offs I saw, straight hugging after the win. I feel like Scrub has to keep going. I agree with that. I feel like he's got so much confidence. The momentum is building. I don't think he's going to slow down at all. All right. We're now going into agent select now for both teams. Let's see what both teams pick. Whoa. I see Nico on Brimstone. I'm excited to see that play. Scrub on Sky, Tech on Race, Fate back to Harbor, and Dubai sticking on that patented Reina. Interesting to see no Sentinel. Well, not so much no Sentinel, but no acting Sentinel either. Normally you see a Viper on this map, and even though they're not a, a, a true Sentinel, they still have that stalling power between the wall, the orb, and the mollies. You know, even the pit is very, like, locked down a sight type of ult. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... With no agent that does any of that, you know, Brim is just like pure controller. He's great at smoking. Harbor is an aggressive controller. You got Sky and Initiator. Obviously, the two duelists can't hold the site, you know. Mm -hmm. So, who is going to be the one playing side anchor here? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm going to guess that it's Nico just because that's who he is. You know, he's mm -hmm. that, that anchor. That's the player we see. Right. That's the player we generally see on the Sentinel and the Viper. Yeah, I, I want to talk about how we are seeing players going back to their standard agents. We have Scrub back on Sky, and we said it earlier today, Scrub's best agent is Sky. I believe so, yeah. Tech back on Raze. However, I believe Tech was second frag with Omen. We saw some great plays from him, but back to Tech. Oh, yeah. Back to his Raze. I do like the way he plays Raze. 
let's take a look at the enemy comp and this this is looking a lot more traditional we've got you know rays brim viper like i was talking about but we also have cypher so it looks like you know along with that whole like oh we're a super aggressive team they're a super defensive team we're playing just perfectly into those roles and actually we're starting on attack which is great for both teams actually we've got double sentinel basically on the enemy team and we got no sentinel on our team yeah cypher and b site bind almost hand in hand in this game that, yeah those the trips just so good it's going to be interesting how we're going to be able to avoid him and or dismantle his setups Generally, raise is really important for that because the nade just has so much, you know, covering area to break those trips. The the boom bot can you know snuff out those you know low low hanging trip wires. But with the the semi recent cipher buffs of uh, the the trip not getting destroyed after one tag, you know that stuff may not work as effectively as it used to, especially with like the sky dog trying to clear trips. That's a common strategy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one of game four here. Brookdale up 2-1 in the series. Match point in the series. Pushing on to B here. Too long, three in hookah. Looks like they've got a three stack on B site right now. We got Cypher, Viper, and Sky all spotted here. Pushing hard on to B, but opting to rotate down short. The two long players can stick around for much longer creating presence and because there's a TP right there that they can take to showers. Dubai going on spawn solo. Heck and fate going short A here. You love that pick. Scrub picking up one in bit bathroom. Five V four. Smoke down. Sees one heaven. A little parkour action from Scrub there. Scrub picking up the heaven kill right there. Great pick for Brookdale. Brimstone pushing a double kill there by, by, by Dupage. 3v2. 3v2 tech very low here. They're making it possible. Brim Molly still available for Nico. Fortunately, tech goes untraded. Here's a tab, doesn't risk it. Throws the Molly down. Last one spotted Lance. Hey, picking him up. Controller duo left. Nico with the pick as well. Pistol Huge round pop found. off already. Great Brooke start. Ready. What a great start. Instant win there in the round. More people flowing in now. We're ready to see this victory from Brookdale. Brookdale taking the one round early. This is a match point for the series. I'm curious how they're going to approach this force. A lot of teams like to play a slow default, but with this such an aggressive comp, we might opt to just go for a split. You know what I mean? So we could yeah. totally go for a default, but I feel like it may not be as strong as a typical sort of comp. Scrub just sitting near Fountain right now. Tech and Dubai pushing up Nuhuka again. Fate falling behind Sky Dog down long. And here it goes. B split once again. That is a quadruple or maybe even five TP. This is going to be insane to watch. Dubai double kill here in Hookah. She chooses to stick around and find two. We've got Tech picking up one as well. Three man advantage of Brookdale. Tech with a double kill as well. Two double kills from Brookdale so far. 5v1. Dubai sitting top here. Spraying long. Gets heavy damage off on him. Skyflash coming out. Triple peeking long here. They will not let him get away. Good pick by Nico there. Dominant flawless by Brookdale here. You Brookdale 2 0 advantage. You really love to see not giving away any kills, not giving away any guns on an anti eco round. You want to be keeping as many of these Spectres and Bulldogs alive in this third round as possible. You know, generally, you know, it's it's typical to lose one or two players, but on a on a round like that where it's a flawless, it's fantastic for the next round. Looks so like we have heavy pings A here. Might be the first A push we see this game. Yeah, based on the fact that they yeah, all have Spectres nice. and Bulldogs and it's highly likely that the enemy team will have Vandals and Phantoms, you want to kind of cannonball together and play out, play that team play and cannonball. Do something unexpected and surprising, such as five stacking short. Yeah, Brim Smoke and Harbor Wall down short here. Rain of Flash through the wall, double flash through the wall. Tech blasting out on the site, Smoke down as well, covering showers. Bomb going down instantly, good push here. Dupaj picking up one. Crazy harbor wall in sight. Grub getting picked off here. Skyflash doesn't hit tech. Tech holding this angle. 
Tries to jiggle it a little bit. This fight is Gets so two important. with the spray. What an unexpected way to pull back. 3v3. Beautiful double kill right there. Raise bot coming in. This is Tex round for Fate sure. Fate picking up one as well. Fate gets hit by the boom bot, I believe. Cypher, Nico pick up a one. One left. Good pick by Tech there, winning the round. Triple kill by Tech that round. Flawless play by Tech. Brookdale confident. Crowd still into it. Brookdale ready. Tech was able to entry site, back up, and not overheat, right? And then cover that flank. And in that crucial moment where he had to 1v1 Sky, turns out there were two players, and he killed both of them with one Bulldog spray. What a perfect collat. The ADS collat was... Fantastic to watch. That was huge for that round. That made that round. And then the post plant where it was a close situation with Cypher, he played it perfectly. He didn't give away his life. He didn't give him the fight. He just played time. You love to see that. Tech almost spraying his reaction there with the shock penguin. Discipline. Three down short B again. Nico and Scrub going fountain once more. Let's move. Fate also on A solo right now. Possibly throw a harbor wall down. See Sky. Sky flash out of the Viper wall. Sees one. Sky still in Link. Frame wall coming out. Doesn't hit anyone. Baits the plant. Falls back on the side, now plants. Fate, forced to move out through the molly. Brim Smokes should be fading soon. That was the only thing keeping the defenders He's raised, back from he's another. Nico trying to get the other one. Fails to spray, gets flashed. Scrub picking up one, Fate picking up one. Fate, dribble kill round. What a flawless post plant. The energy is flowing here in the Brookdale Esports Arena. I believe we, I just saw we have three zero death, excuse me, one zero death, never mind. My eyes deceive me. Maybe I even won by fate. Maybe you saw the assists. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that was what. Going back on that last one, just a game question for you. Do you like that smoke change of seeing when they're fading? Uh, it's kind of like it lowers the skill floor, you, right? Mm -hmm. It makes the game more accessible, more approachable. But it also means that the players that took the time to master that ability of learning exactly when the smokes are going to fade it, mm. and it may not be like counting it out exactly, but it's a sort of intuition sort of feeling, and, and that, that's the feeling that I got. It's like, oh, I've seen these smokes here for kind of a long time. They're mm -hmm. going to be fading in about a couple seconds. Okay. Seeing um, Sky once again be long. Gets the stun on Sky trying to run the link. Ult counter ult. There's Gets those Dubai. Tripwires. Dubai just being overwhelmed mid site. Double kill by Dupage here. There's those tripwires you talked about. Tech pushing out here. Molly in the cubby. He's one hookah. Uh, hops back into mid site. Tech once again peeking. One in hookah still. Remember how we talked about spike retrieval mission? <laughs> yep. Break that once again, that sticky predicament here. That was a good blast pack there. That was one steel hookah. He's one back haul. Fortunately, Tech is on an island. He's exposed to both CT and elbow at the same time. Boombot coming in. Force to spray. Gets the pick as well. Almost gets two there. Unlucky by Tech. Fortunately, a clutch like that is nearly impossible. It takes more Did than a miracle to win something like that. Thing, right? If yeah, Tech got that sure. clutch off, I am confident the roof would have came off this place with the Tech fans we have in the crowd. Oh my god, definitely. Almost uncanny what would happen to this place. I would have to run out of here, to be honest. Spikes here. Round 6 loading in here. Brookdale up 4-1. Still a confident Brim. advantage for Brookdale. We've got three ults online right now. Brim ult is one point away. In terms of ult economy, we have plenty of tools to work with. Got the spike. Good trade there. Dubai picking up the rifle. He does have that Raynal. We see him use it very strategically oh and effectively. One time, us even guaranteeing he would get a kill. Sky once again. Be long. Pushing the hookah. Gets the pick over Jen. Double kill here for Brookdale. There's that, there's that Dubai right. Ray, Reyna ult. Can't speak. 4v3. Bomb going down shortly. 
That gives us Bermolt for post plant if needed. Those one is in hall. Spraying through the smoke. Rays all activated by tech. Tech sees one. Nico picking up one. Last two spotted in hookah. He's going to use that Brimolt. Brimolt picking up one. Dubai lights up the other. Nico finishing off with that ult. 5-1 Brookdale. Some people call it stealing kills. I call it securing rounds. That's a perfect way to think of it. I need that mindset in my teammates. Brookdale. Confident. Smiles around right now, but walking right back in before the round starts. I just stay grounded. Remember who you're playing. Remember what's on the line here. Reloading. You know what to do. Readying those smokes instantly. Smoke down. It's the same default setup at the start of every single round. You have that Brim and Harbor setup. Not only is it really strong for denying information, it's also really strong for conditioning the enemy. It it keeps them on their toes and. The thing that was great about it, we saw that exact same setup be used down. that other earlier Spike round. Down, B. Nico attending the barrel stuff, the uh, Bramin Garden. Scrub stu stuck stuck in the Dubai with a double kill. <laughs> they were doubled up octagon, but Dubai off. found both. Dubai unluckily right in front of him with the sheriff. Three v two here. However, Scrub ex excruciatingly low. Tech getting lit up as well. Kate picking up one. It was all a diversion, though. Reloading. Both players are already on A. Scrub planting here. Bait, a huge player right here. Still 150 health. We spotted both in CT, and now we have this Bait crossfire setup right here. Bait picking up one. Harbor wall going down instantly just to zone off that raise and spawn as well. Both falling back on the site here. Rub walking, excuse me, fate slowly walking the lamps. He's raised on site trying to bait it out. Scrub picking up the kill there. 6 1 Brookdale here. For update for anyone joining us right now, this is a best of five series in the NJC AAE Grand Finals. Brookdale is currently up 2-1 in the series. Fourth game here, up 6-1. Match point in the series. Dupage is going to be on a save round here. They ha they don't have money for even a single Vandal. They're going to be stuck with, you know, Spectres or even Classics if they decide to full save. Meanwhile, we're, we're rolling in the money. We are stacked out here. We're out here trading skins. Triple Rifle walking down short here. And this is what we were talking about last round, how this this setup conditions the enemy. And it allows us to do things like this. Now we go right back to our regular B split. Yep, Nico in the sky. After creating presence on A. He's one right outside Garden. Flashing the site here, gets the flash. Smoke going down though by Dupage's rim. Pushing site hard, Fate picks up one. Scrub, fall again, trying to pick up another. Knows one is Link. Dubai staying in hookah. Molly going on to Hall. Sees one. Falls off box. Flashes out of the smoke. Repeaks. Sees two. Lights up Viper 39. And that gives us all the info we need. One was spotted elbow, one was spotted CT, and two are in hookah. Now everyone should know where to look. Falling out of hookah. Misses a spray on him. Tech picks him up. Another one falls out. Scrub picking him up. One outside Hookah. Double kill by Tech. Triple kill by Tech in the round. What a fantastic collapse. That post plant setup was beautiful. Rookdale Valorant absolutely flowing right now in this fourth match. With a scoreline of 7-1, to one, I mean, it's hard to say that it's close at all. I mean, it's a little confusing because each individual round is close. You know, mm. there's a little, there's push and pull. There's, there's, you know... It always gets down close to the numbers, right? Mm. But the scoreline 7-1, we're continually coming out on top of these close rounds. You know, even though it's only one or two players left, there's a lot of these clutch situations. Mm -hmm. We are just coming out on top of these close rounds. So, you know, even though the scoreline says 7-1, every single round has been really close. Yeah. 
and off of that um, Dupage right now, calling a timeout, just getting that tactical right. advantage back. And we've seen time and time again this series, timeouts being used to the most. Teams coming out of timeouts oh, and yeah. flipping the game. Does Dupage do that here? Does Brita keep the momentum up six rounds right now? I think from what we've seen with our timeouts as well, even though it's the enemy's timeout, we also take advantage of their timeout and mm -hmm. we change up what we're doing at the same time. So just as they're making an adaptation about the way we've been playing the whole game, that's when we change and we decide, let's do something different. Mm -hmm. And just as I speak of it, now we're going to hard hit A with no B control whatsoever. The complete opposite of everything we've been doing the right whole there. game. Yeah. To the T you called that. Opposite of the caster's curse we had earlier today. We have four pushing showers. Now we have Dubai falling short with fate. However, three flooding out of showers right now. Nade coming out. Flash coming out. Hard pushing sight. He's one backside scrub picking up backside there. Ray's all being popped. Does get one. Spraying through the smoke at the lamps. This raise is really a problem. It's hard to plant spike when you know someone's in lamps. Dubai, you got a feeling. I see him overwhelmed by Util all game so far. Did There's still one, one in lamps. Nico picks up the one in lamps. Viper's seen short. Omen, Omen up. Cypher jumping out short. Tech up in heaven. Guarantees no one's coming from CT. We know that they're all flanking. Trade there by Brookdale. 2-2 two, two right now. Two men to two men. Both out on site. Nico's got a great flank going on. Bomb being tapped here. Nico one, Nico two. Another Nico flanks there for the 3K for that round. Solidifying the round for Brookdale. Brookdale up 8-1 right now. We were talking about seeing a dominant game from Brookdale here, and that's exactly what we're seeing. It's exactly like I hoped for. I couldn't be more happy. Kind of calming down the nerves we had and the hype we had. Kind of keeping us mellow, but still plays to pop off about. Five seconds here into the 10th round. Grub once again throwing the double thumbs up. We've seen him throw that up on his face cam a few times. Another showman we have here on Brookdale. Race by going into the hookah. Trade there, be long. One more coming out. Grub missing the second one. Bomb down long. 3v4, Viper's Pit set up just outside of hookah. It's another spike retrieval mission. We did have the cypher there, the sheriff. Flash coming out. Tech in Dubai pushing for this bomb here. Clearing out Falcon. Fates all the way up A. Fate picking off one on A. Alting on A just to keep that site clear. Yeah, this ult is mainly for info. It just tells them, hey, no one's here backside. No one's lurking in any of these weird, funny corners. They opt to TP. A, a TP play here. They went That's to the... Just Viper as the Viper ult, ult goes down. down. Yes, that... It's a great way to indicate that they've all left. Typically when a Viper ults, she's the last one to leave. As soon as it goes down, you can be pretty much guaranteed that no one else is there. Viper cage is falling here. One seed in the hall. Brace through, get some damage off on him. 3v3. Dubai just holding that elbow there. Let's hope we can play disciplined and trade each other. Viper wall coming out of elbow. Strange to see the Viper all, Viper wall being used. This Two coming out of elbow here. Tech picking up one. Dubai getting picked off. Tech last left. One v one. Tech gets the pick there. Pop off there. Brings us to nine. Brings us to nine. Tech fans in attendance going crazy right now. I know Tech's got the fan base in the crowd, so I know they're happy with that play. All around play from Brickdale there. Fantastic so far. Just again, a quick shout out to the atmosphere we've had tonight. Lovely atmosphere here in the Brookdale Esports Arena for this grand final. Brookdale up eight rounds here. Just inching closer and closer to that victory and title of national champ. The room has gotten even more happy and excited seeing that the score is 9-1. to You know, these close games, it's been loud, it's been furious, but everyone... Feels joyous. Dubai popping all and flashing. I think he's jumping at Hookah right now. He is. Peace Garden doesn't see anyone. He's one in sight. Unfortunately, there was a pinch there. One back sight, one Garden. Raise Nade into Hookah there. 
Kyle coming out. Fate once again on A. Stuck behind a trip. These floor trips are interesting. You can jump over them, but a lot of ciphers like to bait you into that. If you jump over the trip, they hear your footsteps, and that's what they swing off of, and that's a very tricky uh, way to play the game. How do you play around that, right? Going to tight angle here. Tech still solo on B here. Interesting to see what Brickdale's doing here. Who going showers? Sky flash coming out. Tech grabbing the bolt orb and teleporting to A here. Thirty seconds left. Sky all coming out. We do have Tech and Brimstone alt now. Cypher cage coming out in shower. Just pushing right through that cage. Get a bomb down. All these Ray's all coming out. Gets the pick on Cypher. Double kill by Brookdale. All these ults able to equalize the man disadvantage and then some. Now we're in a 4v3 out from a, a 4v5. We have 4v3 Brim post plant here. Brim ult post plant. Perfect situation here for Brookdale. Nico just walking back. Has that ult. And play off site here. One scene heaven. Tech lighting, lighting him up I believe. It's getting scary. They also have a Brim ult online. And provided Brim they ult the lamps. Lights of fate. Scrub excuse me. Fate picking off one. Fate pits off two. Tries to spade transfer. Brim versus Brim here. Open up the sky. Uses the ult to bait the. Has that on lock here. Just toying with him. Just toying with him. How disrespectful. I Aiming love at the it. head for a second. I love it. 10 to 1. This is, this is what we've been seeing from Brookdale. This is what I'm used to here. We're looking at a great half no matter what happens this round. With the nastiness of Fate having three one-taps. Almost four there that round, too. Tech having a standout game right now. 14 and 5 on the raise. Can I get a drop? Watch and Thanks. Learn. Up on the ground here. You have a rifle as well. Blinded. Let's get the flash here. Showers with an op. Cypher trip going down. Tease one, Cypher cage two in, in, in showers. Try to peek a good blast pad to get back. Dog coming out. Falls back here. Gives away Sky's location on B still. Rest walking up short A here. I know we talked about it a lot the first game with the Viper Harbor, but look at the smoke synergy. It's still there. As soon as that Viper wall came down, Brim smokes were down instantly. Giving them perfect sight control. Whole team here staying on sight. Praise from heaven on Dupage. Sees him jump out heaven in the cubby. Double kills on both squads. 2v3. Dupage picking up one more here. Scrub has still got plenty of util. Bomb being tapped here. Scrub peeking over. Flashes out. Both on bomb. Texto showers. Tech push out. Gets one. Gets a second as well. Triple kill from Tech there. What a half. 11-1. What a half. 11-1. Brookdale going up to the second half. This momentum and confidence Brookdale has is unmatched right now. Incredible play we've seen so far here from Brookdale. But we've had an attack sided comp on attack this whole half, right? That's what got us to 11-1. I'm curious to see how are we going to play this comp on defense, right? It's going to be really hard to hold a site. We have to play aggressive, and the fact that we have so many rounds on the attack side means we only have to win two, mm -hmm. provided we don't move into overtime, which would be crazy for if the we go to overtime from here, I will lose my mind. But, yeah, two, two rounds... With some just tricky, aggressive plays, should be easy. We should mm -hmm. have this map in the bag, and therefore the, the championship. Yeah, going off what you said, though, they do also have a defensive comp with Cypher on that. Right, and Viper. So it's going to be hard for them to execute sight. I'm excited to see how this game plays out. These two see long. Get shots off on both of them, 60-55, respectively. Very standard way of playing the game so far. Two doubled up in showers. One was short. Rub saving an elbow. Solo B right now. Heck coming in through Link. Or halls, excuse me. B split coming through. Gets hit in the elbow. Heck still in halls. Scrub left on 26 HP. Yikes. 
4v3. Three in halls now. Grub now coming halls with the rest of the team. Harbor wall going out. Sky flash coming out as well. Pushing hard off that sky flash. Gets one. Gets a second as well. Fate with the double kill here. Fate is heating up. He did a miracle. Knows last one more is here. Unlucky to get him. Tried to finish him off. Unlucky. Nico unable to finish the kill there. Pity round, right? Of course. Totally. I mean, I would love to call it pity round, but now we have to deal with this second, this second round of attack from them. Yeah. I'm curious why we're playing it um, so standard. You know, you s you see this from from default comps is when you uh, you do three on A, two on B, and then, and then you know the, the doubling up and everything, and, and it's it's a great way to play the map. But the fact that we have such an aggressive comp means we should be doing something more creative, more you know, Flash more tricky, to short. more aggressive. Maybe it's just part of those mind games still. Brookdale, this whole series playing unorthodox, and now. Flipping a switch into orthodox yeah. could throw off the enemy. With an unorthodox comp, it's very strange to see. I'm sure they have something cooked up for the later rounds when we have when they have vandals, though. That's when we'll see the you know double blast packing down long with the mm -hmm. flashes and the the walls. Guy dog coming in. only sees one. I don't where Dubai's presence. This is a great setup Nico right coming here. In. Tekken coming in. From the this is what I'm talking about. Full battle here. Be short. The cannonball. Unable to find anyone, however. It's like they disappeared. Where did they go? All found that A. Nade coming out here. This could be huge. Unlucky bounce from the Nade. We've now kind of forced a retake play almost here. All of us short here. Flash is coming out. Just hard pushing sight here. Cypher came out. Dupac picking up one. Dupac picking up two. Nico picking up one as well. Play for all going off here. 1v4. We've seen some crazy things from Dubai, but nothing quite like this. If he is able to pull this off, I'll just stop right there. Shuts down immediately. Unlucky from Brickta here. However, we have more of an even playing field this round. This should be very interesting here. Actually, more so than even, we should have the advantage here. We have full rifles. They should still have those same specters that they had last round. They shouldn't be able to afford full rifles, theoretically. Of course. If they opt to buy light shields, they totally could. Mm -hmm. Especially looking at their economy right now. Okay? Brookdale confident in solidifying this. Smoke. Would be huge to see Brookdale win this first season. Hey, picking up that alt orb there. Dubai and Scrub, some action on C B. I think we're in a three lane. We're not... Silence again. I love the silent jump peeks out of Scrub. I saw this last map as well. Heavy alt here from Dubai. Ray's falling in front of Scrub. Scrub picks up one. Scrub picks up two. Dubai picking up one as well. Dubai still alive. Picks up Nico picking up one. Nico picking up two. 12 3 Brookdale here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am standing up for this last round. Map point and series point. I am excited for this last round here. I am up on my toes. Twenty seconds left here. Match point, series point here. The round to win national championship for Brookdale in the first season within the NJC Double AE. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two seconds here. Perfect. Last round starting now. Can Brookdale close it out here? 12-3. Series point for national championship title. Tech pushing out of showers. Grabs the altar, falls back. Scrub picking up one early. Sees two more. Stays on site. Scrub calming the rest of the team. Rapid comms here. Harbor wall going up, cross B. We do have the one-man advantage already. Huge boost for Brookdale. Spraying through the walls here on Hookah. See that cross-map info flash? He flashed through long, and it came out showers and didn't find any information, meaning that there's no one there. 
King's in showers right now. Rico is holding showers, however. Flash on B. Dubai and Scrub still holding B right now. Look at how still everyone is. No rotations going on. No one's moving. We're just Side waiting. dog on B. Smokes down B. B push left. here from Dupage. <laughs> Dubai getting spiked down. Dubai with the double kill. Two left in the hookah. Dubai sees one. Lights up 40 on Brim. 3v2 retake. 3v2. Brim is low as well. Spike still not down yet. 15 seconds left on the clock. Bomb going coming out. Fate picking up one. Fate picking up two. Brookdale is national champs, ladies and gentlemen. 13-3. First season in the NJC AAE. Brookdale are your national champs. Defeating Dupage here. 13-3, I believe, was the final. That was the last map. 3-1 to one map score. Crazy last map. They did drop a map and bounced back instantly. It's like with every single map, we got better. We Every lost. We lost the first map, thir uh, thirteen to eleven. Then we won the next one, thirteen ten. Then we won thirteen seven. Then we won thirteen three. We got better with every single map. Everyone up on their feet and right a tech chance roaring around the crowd. Team celebrating. Director of esports Chris joining them. You love to see the happiness in the crowd, in the cast, in the crew. Straight smiles, the straight Valorant squad chants. Lining up on stage there. National champs in their first season. I want to talk about that bind defense real quick. I was, I was very surprised at how well that, that default kind of strat worked. And it was really nice how much they used the teleporters and how well they used them. Like, they really understood how to use them to get the most effective strategies. It mm -hmm. was just it was just fantastic to see the, those teleportations. Huge pop-off here. Pictures going around of the Brookdale squad here at Brookdale. It, we are back teams. to death. We are standing up. That's what the last game did to us. We are so hyped and happy to see that victory there. Most teams just they can't compete with us. No. And we showed it today. Every stream we are game the we've best had, team in the league. Every stream game we've had, we dominated everyone before this. Little fluctuation here, but that last match was standard Brookdale Valorant play. Domination in that last match. Wanted that win, got that win. That's how it works here. We showed true understanding of the maps we were playing, the agents we were playing, the enemy we were playing against, and we just demolished them. Straight we smiles crushed the competition. on stage. Straight smiles, throwing up ones on stage. So Everyone's much excitement. So excited. We have a great player joining us here in the desk. Scrub joining us in the desk. Let me hop back on the seat here. I've never been over here before. This is my uh, Welcome. first time. Oh. I bet you're feeling fantastic right now. National champs in your first season. I feel great. I mean, you should feel great. After that performance, that third map we saw, straight fragging out of your mind. How, how, how was that? How did that feel with the adrenaline? Uh, it, it was great. I, I can't do it without the team here. It, it's all a team game. I, I just come up with the shots, but mm -hmm. it, it's the whole team. It's a whole team effort. Yeah, we've heard time and time again, just fate as a great IGL. We saw Dubai as the entry. The team synergy, and you go, all the, the way you guys play off each other is fantastic, we see. It's impressive to see national champs again. How did that pop off feel at the end? It feels great. It's undescribable. The energy on the stage after the last round, it, mm -hmm. it's undescribable. It's yeah, I crazy. see you hopping up, hugging teammates. You seem like you're, you're always trying to get the energy up on stage. I love to see that. Oh, yeah. We all love each other. It's awesome. It, I can see that. I hope you're happy. Go ahead and go celebrate with your team. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you to the coach, Coach Mike. Yeah, man. It's all on you. All on you guys, the team. All right. Nico, Nando, Hamad, Dean, Tech. What is it? Tech Club? What's the uh, Tech. We got Tech. tech? We got Mytho and... Tech Tribe. It's the Tech Tribe. Tech Tribe. Oh, the Tech Tribe, of course. Oh, my God. Dude, I, the, I can't The Tech it. fan base out here is know, insane. Dude. The Brookdale fan base, is, it's, it's been a night for I you. I know. I'm so glad for the turnout, dude. I'm so happy everyone came to watch. It, it was a great turnout. The atmosphere here tonight was fantastic. Oh, yeah. I could have done without all of you guys. You guys, the production team. You thank you. Thank crazy. you. Yeah, if you want, go ahead, go up and celebrate yeah. your team. I thank, thank you, you for so coming much, here. Man. Thank you. Thank have a great you. night. Enjoy that thank celebration. You, 
I'm back on stage here. Oh, I'm back on my feet. Man, kind of nice to get give your ears a break after having the headset on. Yeah, so it's been intense here. We got the team coming over here. We got the celebratory cake. We love food here at Brookdale. Oh, yeah. That seems to be a common theme. Every single match I've casted, food has come up. Team's happy. Team's celebrating. Love to see the team happy here. How fitting that they celebrate with cake, right? Of course. Of course. Fantastic vibes. The room is finally simmering down, but everyone still maintaining the joy. We have the tech tribe on stage here. Just tech fan base we have here. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed us here. Once again, that we are national champs in the NJC AAE Open Series Valorant Playoffs. We just defeated College of DuPage in a best of five series, three to one. My name's been Alex. Joining me is TJ. TJ, any last words? Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you all for watching. See you guys soon. Have a great rest of your night. Yeah, see you next season. Yeah, see you next season. Bye-bye. <laughs>